Hello guys, and welcome once again to Modeler's Corner. It's good to see you guys again, and yeah. So, uh, we should have Tom Biddle should be joining us here, because he's running a bit late. So, uh, just give me a sec here, I just need to turn off my... Uh, we should have Tom Biddle should be joining us here, because he's running a bit late. So, who, who's, who's got playback on? Just give me a sec here, I just need to turn off my... Uh, we should have Tom Biddle should be joining us here because he's running a bit late. Who's, so, who's got their playback on? Something to turn off. Not me. Uh, we should have Tom Biddle should be joining yeah. us. He's running a bit late. Who's coming through the phone? So I can hear Thanks, you. Sir. Oh, was it you? Yes. Yeah, uh, Why'd you left it on you, Numpty? <laughs> <laughs> There's something, always I should, something, I should, something I should have mentioned like from the very start here. It always happens on live streams, but there you go. Okay, so anyway, uh, like I said, thanks. Uh, welcome once again, guys, to Modelist Corner. Uh, Tom Biddle is running a bit late, so he might uh, join us shortly, I suppose. I uh, don't know if he is or not, but um, but yeah, uh, we're back once more this week. Uh, sorry that we had to move uh, yesterday's stream to today because there was uh, some... Uh, stuff happening on and be quiet for she buzzing right now <laughs> but anyway um so yeah so let's see who's on the uh guest panel for tonight so we have uh my good friend uh yeah. ben down below here say hello ben hello everyone he's good uh we got mr um <clears throat> uh spark shot down there <laughs> good and then we got uh <laughs> Well, apparently we got sweep with him as well, so <clears throat> that's all good. And uh, I don't know, I, I don't, I don't, I don't know who this is here. So, yeah, you know, he just appeared out of nowhere. But Look, I am Ivan. Yeah. You're some stranger he found on the street. Yeah, yeah. he just like you know, he just says, uh, he just says, "Let me in. I've got a model." <laughs> hey, up! <laughs> we have got a sweep, and we got we got sweep. There we go. Promoter there, city and sweep is doing this. No, no. Yeah, we got sweep on the call. So if anybody wants to ask sweep any questions, he's there. But hey, we got the sooty. We got sooty. Does exist. So yeah, um, yeah. Uh, Good morning. This is uh, my good friend Chris, otherwise known as Casey Junior. Good morning to you. There's uh, Sue as well. Good to see her. So yeah, um, like I said, Tom Biddle might be joining us later on tonight. Might be another guest uh, modeler coming on. Again, we don't know yet what's happening. Mm -hmm. And also tonight here, this is going to be the last time that... Oh, hang on, speak of the devil. Where were you? You're late. Me? What took you? We were like, flip's sake, we were about five, nearly five minutes in. Sorry, guys, my... um already gone wrong. <laughs> what's wrong? I said my computer... Sorry. All right. No worries. Well, you're here now, so that's that's all that matters. So, um, anyway, I was, I was just saying here, uh, tonight's going to be the last time for now that we're going to be holding the uh, showcase. So thanks to everyone here who sent through their pictures of the their models that they want to showcase in this uh, stream. So at around about 8 o'clock, we'll be doing the showcase for one last time for now. But we'll do the... Um, um, we call the showcase game. Maybe I don't know. Maybe a couple of months time. Well, I'll let you know. When, it's when still it's still yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. If it's still, if it, yeah, if the streams are still going. So, but uh, anyway, uh, as you guys know, Models Corner is where we actually take make our own um, model projects. Take uh, try and make different types of models. So let's see. Shall we go with? Uh, well, Chris, you're going to be your main guest tonight. Here, so what are you going to be working on? As you know, last week I was working on this. Even though he promised us, even though you promised us a pug. Yes, where's the pug? Yeah. Right? Well, where's the pug? Good, good the news, pug. everyone. Good oh. news. Is it the Daisy Sandero? <laughs> He's got a pug. There you go. Yes, Lancashire and Yorkshire Railway Class Twenty One. Good. I think yeah. that's right, isn't it? Yeah. Should be. <laughs> but most of it will be getting into it. So. So, uh, Gavin, what are you going to be working on tonight? <clears throat> I'm going to be putting Dingham autocouplers <laughs> on some wagons, basically, and possibly some three links. So, okay, just probably... it's a bit awkward with ready to run. 
-hmm. because uh, they don't really make it easy for people who don't use any in pockets. So hmm. we'll see what happens. Cool. And Ben, what are you working on tonight? Uh, pile of pile of crap. I mean, scrap. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's quite good. Yeah, I've already done uh, the weathering on it, so we're going to use some of the uh, the old contrast paints to actually add some uh, add some colour to it, like I did the uh, the uh, very grubby looking workshop. Uh, I see that auger is still leave oh, the bomb there. Yeah, the one that's been smushed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you should probably you should probably actually put an F on that there, like just a letter F, and just says like, you know oh, some great. Yeah, song. what I might do is because this is these are the pe these are pieces for like when the boat is uh, exhibitions. I might uh, put an F on the um, inside where people aren't as likely to see it. Yeah, <laughs> something they have to look for. Okay, no worries. <laughs> um, and uh, Tombo, what are you working on tonight? The moment is a mix. But um, I have finished something during the week. It's not, it's not, not finished. But you know oh. what I mean. Um, you know that remember that tanker wagon I was doing? Yeah. Oh, nice. So now most of it is done. I've just got. Yeah, you know, done. Cool. It's all sold together. Oh, that's awesome. Frames and everything. Oh, that's really good. No, I've got to do just just add well, add uh, add these onto it and then uh, paint it. Awesome. And um, I don't know if you remember, but I've uh, finished the paintwork on this uh, milk wagon, my six wheel mm -hmm. milk wagon. Hmm. The one that uh, was it blue? The cow was protecting. Yeah. Like, it's my milk. But, yeah. The cows wanted <laughs> back. <laughs> So, the milk forthwith. What was that? What was that uh, advert there where it has like the cows were actually like attacking people's houses just so they can get their milk back? <laughs> oh, I can't remember that. Actually. Yeah. Remember, yeah, everybody, everybody should know that advert. So, if I've seen it, I've forgotten what it was like. Hmm. And for my end here, I'm going to be working on some more uh, little dapple kits here. Um, as you know, last week I was working yeah, on. Some little 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 model. Model. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, we're, uh, I'm working on uh, some more dapple kits here. So this is actually a uh, both a signal box and signal gantry. And if you remember last week, I was working on some buildings that were going to be used for uh, my replica of Farquhar Mark II. So you might know where this is going to go. So this is basically the the overhead signal box that you see on Farquhar Mark II, which um, was installed to hide the hinges that that are used to to fold the boards together. So that's what I'm going to be working on tonight. So I'll be working off some reference photographs here, which I'll have on my computer screen. And yeah, that's what we're going to be working on tonight. So we've got our models. We've got ourselves together. Let's build the models. Hey, you banter. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get making. Let's get making. <clears throat> get on with it. <laughs> get on with it. Uh, <laughs> Right, stop that. Stop that once. It's silly. Oh, I'll eat, I'll eat your peanuts. <laughs> peanuts! 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 <laughs> <laughs> it's back. It's back. <laughs> also, if, uh, just in case anybody's wondering, like, you know, why I'm so red at the minute here, I was, I was busy outside in the sun uh, trying to do some uh, work in the garden there, so may have got a bit of a overdone it there with the tanning process. <laughs> you look like you're trying to morph into a Red Ranger or something. <laughs> nah, I'll be doing Ryan out of a job. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've never built any of these kits before, so it might take me a wee while to figure out how to do it. Because mm. it's not quite like a Jag. And there's no way. <laughs> there's no way like a jag. <laughs> no. It's like a jag, and this is nothing like a jag. The jag. Jag. I don't think I got to work on. I've got these coach kits. Um, 
which I've decided I'm not going to do that for coaching. All right. Project on them. Yeah. They're the wrong. They're, they're completely the wrong store. I should have really thought about it in the beginning, but yeah. Okay. I was actually looking at uh, the pictures of the original signal box gantry seen on Farquhar, and I actually never noticed that there actually is actually some interior modelled in there. Okay. Didn't I didn't know Reverend Audrey actually modelled the interior as well? So that's something I'll need to try and try and do. Is this the one that's based Teleclean, or is this on the? Yeah, it's on, yeah, it's on Teleclean. Yeah. Right. The one that you folks at home, if you if you sponsor, if you uh, donate to the Telkin Railway, you might be able to get a chance to operate it. Uh, as far as I know, donation, donations there to, to to run it there actually are looking quite good. So, uh, oh, hang on, we've got a got a question there. Uh, Chris, what scale is the Jag? I think it's one. 30 second scale. 1 to 30 second scale. So it's gauge 1, isn't it? That's gauge 1, isn't it? Uh, yeah, 1 is gauge 1. Yeah. Or maybe in your case, uh, Ben Tug scale. <laughs> well, well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Have you finished clearing up your pond yet, Ben? Uh, I would have if it was actually my pond. That's the public lake. I know, I know I'm joking. <laughs> oh, what was it? It was just seeing the pictures there. It just kind of reminded me of um, it kind of reminded me of this this weird horror film. I remember. I just remember just stumbling across uh, whilst I was just flicking through channels, where it just had this weird monster like algae that just grabs anything and just devours it underneath a giant lake. <laughs> no, it reminded me of what happened when I after after a night out, but yeah. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, on a night out, he was reenacting that horror film. He <laughs> <laughs> probably falls in and ends up like that guy from uh, Real World Cop. Yeah. He gets covered in the uh, the acid. Oh, God. Oh, I, I do remember seeing the photographs of that there when uh, I, I was studying um, studying media or something in my, in my secondary school. And uh, it was just pure horrifying. It was just it was just saying like you know all the different types of makeup out there. You just see this just see a massive close up close up there of this guy's face all melted completely. I was like, oh god. goes my lunch. Well, there goes my lunch. I wasn't eating anything. Anyway. Right, so I've got to cut into this wagon weight again. Goodness sake. I take it you're not supposed to do that. Well, I have to because I'm going to put these couplings on, but it's in the way. So I actually I put the couplings in the proper place, basically, and they all stay with the wagon. All right. I might uh, turn my, turn my uh, sound off for this because I have to get a hacksaw and it's uh, a bit noisy. Yeah, talking to sound here, Chris. Do you still have? Are you wearing your headphones? Or are you still listening to the computer speaker? Listening to the computer, why is it? I, I, I can still hear the playback on, on that there. Right, I'll get my wee earphones out then. Uh, sorry, about, sorry about that, it's just in case anybody can't hear us. <laughs> All right. All right. So, uh, Lucas now Nolan, Nolan, that's a, I think that's how you pronounce his name. Sorry, sorry if I got it wrong. Uh, did you ever did you, did you ever figure out the windows on the good station? Um, no, but I think I might have worked that actually. With uh, there was a photograph that I think um, Luke Ryan and Stephen has uh, had sent me there of um, the shelter. So I think I might have worked it out though, but I need to actually uh, check with him again as to what it is. So um max's model area what's the email for the submissions uh if you can send it through to me via twitter i can uh i can do it then just send me like a person uh like a direct message on twitter and i'll do it then yeah just give me what to do <laughs> so. it, 
What's everyone's thoughts on uh, RMW? Is it RM Web? It's fine. I mean, I, okay. I, I, I joined it. I joined it this week, and I've, I've, I finally managed to post up. Uh, right. And I just, yeah, I just wondered what everyone is. Everyone regularly posts on there. Is it? Um, uh, well, I haven't checked. I haven't checked recently though, because the last time I did any updates on there was for the Northwestern Railway replica. Just giving like you know updates of the current process of it. Okay. Um, so we have actually. I was dining. At the, I was actually dining at the club today actually to check on th how things were because they they uh, the folks who own the property that day they had opened up there because they wanted to do some work in it there, and I was in, and uh, they told me about the they were. They were measuring a site there for our club's uh, layout shed, like a big shed for our storing our for housing the Northwestern Railway in. Yeah. And uh, yeah, they go back an area of I think about maybe I think it's twenty by thirty feet. Yeah. So that's 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 a good enough size, because like, I mean, for right now, like lengthwise, the layout is roughly about fourteen feet long. But how many people were there? Was it like did you stick to it? Was it like six or was it? Uh, yeah, I think, yeah, well, it's just, it's, it's because they have, some of them were outside, some of them were inside, like, so there was only like three of us inside, and then okay. a couple outside, so. Okay. Socially yeah. distant, distancing, I hope? Yeah, yeah, because, and, and also, like, you know, they were providing masks as well, so, we, like, you know, we, we, we will have masks here as well, but uh, it was only me from the railway club that was actually there, so. We, uh, I did say, I did say, like we might, I don't know, we might be back at the club, maybe I don't know, a couple of weeks, but we'll be, uh, I'll be instructing everybody to, you know, wear masks and maybe wear gloves, just you know, for for safety reasons. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well, uh, myself and my father uh, go down to the uh, museum every fortnight just to check things down there. Yeah, I saw the photographs there. Even though they want to chuck us out. But yeah. But hopefully uh we can uh fight back. Yeah, in case in case anybody doesn't it doesn't actually know what we're on about. Um the Miniature Railway Club where me and Chris's uh, audio series Miniature Railway Adventures is based off is actually under threat of being closed down. And we don't want to leave. And the the news that of the club's uh, dismissal came about when the club was actually celebrating its seventy uh, fifth its seventy fifth anniversary. So, so to get so get to get the news. Oh, sorry, you go on ahead. Oh, sorry. So to get the news, literally, like you know, in, within the week of the celebrations, everybody was all getting themselves ready and out there. It just brought a lot of sorrow and all. Everybody, I think, some of us were in tears. Um, I, I, we've talked to many people about it outside of the club, and no one thinks it's a good idea. No. I mean, well, I'm gonna see. I'm gonna try and see here. I mean, I've even talked to our chairman as well. We, I might maybe see about doing a video campaign thing, but I don't. I need to. I need to have a talk with him to see, like, you know, what exactly needs to go into it. Yeah, well, the oh. only thing the only thing I would warn is that don't do anything that could antagonize the museum. Because, no, 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 no. Because we're not happy with the situation, but if we antagonize them, that's not going to help us either. No. Best thing to do is go on, their, go on their good side, and they'll kind of realize, yeah, it's... <laughs> Mistakes were made. Yeah. yeah well, hmm. <laughs> Well, well, I, well the guy who wants us gone doesn't think it's a mistake, but... Hmm. Well... <clears throat> well that, that, that's a bit depressing. Yeah. <laughs> I just wonder, it's, it's quite interesting you say that, because it's the reaction you got from the people... Um, it might have been, been a good idea to film it. You know, the what people's opinions and their reactions. Well, no. <sighs> don't know really, Tom. <clears throat> the problem is it's a bit political mm. not not in the politics normal politics sense but it is political yeah yeah and as as with everything politics it's complicated yep. so it's okay. oh well 
But yeah, we we just go down every two weeks just to make sure everything's all right. And Puffer's nice and safe. That's good. That's good to hear. I've been missing. I mean, I've missed driving him. You haven't seen him for over two months now. Yep. Hmm. In case anybody doesn't know, Puff is my little semi-recorded age engine. It's tiny. Back. Well, of course he is. Well, he's he's scaled to the size of, to the scale size. Your engines are just narrow gauge representations. Yeah. So three gaps back. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Uh, Gavin's back. I didn't know he left. <laughs> I, I actually forgot he was here at all. Who is? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he can hear you. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he, I'm sure he, he. I'm sure he'll hear us. All right. <laughs> oh, can he hear perfectly? See. <laughs> <laughs> See, you can hear you perfectly. Now go right. Now go right. How old? You know, this makes me very angry. <laughs> <laughs> this is very annoying. If you want very annoying, what about the uh, <clears throat> lawyer from The Simpsons? Oh, the green, the other one with the green glasses. <laughs> Yeah, I'm so hair. glad. I am so glad in the Simpsons game from 2007. Yes, he, he, he can actually kill him multiple times. I'm like, yes, <laughs> I really hated this character. But I think I think he actually does have a, have a proper name. His, his name is actually Mister. He's actually just called as Mister Burns' lawyer. <laughs> That's pretty much where he is. What he's called, like so. I mean the um. Look at the guy who is also voiced by uh, Troy McClure. No, you're thinking of Lionel Hutz. Um, it's the uh, it's the one who who wears like the the green the green glasses and has blue hair. The one who like this. Yeah. Yeah, sorry. I'm gonna have to go back and rewatch that. I'm, that is is that an old character? He's been on a few times, like, but um, yeah, he always appears at certain. Things. I think, I think there was one where one time where he actually uh, he tried to, he, he tried to sue Principal Skinner that uh, using using the the slogan the happiest place on earth was actually a red uh, slogan used by the Walt Disney Incorporation. Oh, is he the the he's like a tall skinny character. Yeah. Yeah, I know the one now. He yeah, he reminds me. It's funny because this is, this is going to make me sound. It is going to sound way back. Who who remembers the Popeye film with Robin Williams? I didn't watch it. But I know he means. Oh yes, Popeye. Yeah, it's the so Popeye. Guy. There's a guy. There's a guy in there who plays the tax man. He look. He reminds me of him. <laughs> no, I didn't see it. But he always, he always, I always, uh, somehow, I, I both like despise and like that character as well. Because, well, first of all, the way I despise him because, like, you know, he's the tax man. He taxes everybody. No one much. likes the tax man. Yeah, well, yeah, he, he pretty much taxes everybody for like existing, for walking, for <laughs> doing oh, like, trains, it's the yeah, or, even, or, even, or even eating their food. Like he actually, he actually taxes a man for eating a hamburger. And I'm like, what? Ooh, hamburgers. Hamburger tax. Hamburger. I know that, it's got the same vowel. Mm, crusty burgers. Oh. All right, Chris, calm down. <laughs> <laughs> Don't overdo it. Don't. Yeah, why do you want a crusty burger? Yeah. That actually yeah. sounds disgusting. It is. It, it does taste disgusting. Why do you think? Why do you think crusty is good? How do you, think How do you know? Oh, biscuits, nice. Well, to be fair, I can I can believe that from you, Gav. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, I get a bit burned. The guy who eats, who eats a banana with a skin on it, you know. Oh. Well, only occasionally. <laughs> <laughs> that makes it better. <laughs> you sure, sure. <laughs> but banana, bananas, are like, bananas are like KFC's chicken wings. The skin is the best part. <laughs> <laughs> what, what was the uh, Ringo Star, or uh, the uh, Pizza Hut uh, advert that Ringo Star did? Well, there's only uh, one. There's only one. He yeah. Did, so yeah. <laughs> it, 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 it was the uh, one with the cheesy 
crust was it? Oh, I don't know. Well, you want to eat the uh, crust first. Oh, the stuffed crust thing? Yeah, that. Oh, God. Right, so you get a side view of that. Well, I know it's... Uh, um, <clears throat> what might I be talking about? It's got Shay Duval. Mm -hmm. Hello, I'm Shay Duval. Hello, I'm Shay Duval. <laughs> Hello, I'm Shay Duval. <laughs> okay. It's a video of her just going all of every... Like, Hello, I'm Shay Duval. <laughs> Can you say anything else but that? Hello, I'm sleeping. Apparently, I've seen, a, I've seen a video of her recently on a, with a Dr. Phil, and she's um, she went mad, apparently. Right. Like, she looks so unrecognizable. Hmm. <clears throat> Turn your phone off. I wish I would here, but somebody, let's see. Okay, it's Mother's Corner. Okay, it's group chat, right? No, WhatsApp. Okay, that's sorry. Sorry, just talk about yourselves here. You know, I'll I'll I was in modeling in a sec here. Sorry, guys. Okay. Uh, oh, Ben, there's a reply from you here. <laughs> <laughs> How did you get my number? <laughs> <laughs> only Chris and Gav have only Chris and Gav have, have my number. Chris you gave it to me. me. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, she gave me your phone number one drunken evening. <laughs> More fool you! <laughs> Look, there was it was one time I got drunk. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't <laughs> me now, right? But how was I meant to know old Rosie was that strong? Uh, I'm not I'm not yeah, considering their mascot is a steamroller. Well, that's why you think I drank it. Because <laughs> it's got a steam engine on it. Yeah. And plus, I like cider. Yeah, well, it's the same steamroller that the company uh, <laughs> actually owns. Yeah, because so. I actually, because I actually did remember actually uh, um, saying like you know whilst I was drinking away out there, I, I only drank I only drank like one third, and then you know whilst I was eating my pizza out there, and I thought to myself, you know, what, this the whole room is moving, and I've only eat, I've only eaten <laughs> I only drank a third of this here, and I said. <laughs> I was like, I don't know. I should, I should, I should ease up, and I drank another third. The room is not. The room is not. <laughs> Let's like, drink a I'm bit like, more. That'll make it better. <laughs> it was at this moment that Michael knew he messed up. Well, <laughs> he fucked yeah. up. Yeah. Well, I, well, well yeah. Because I, I, mean, I, I actually like. Um, I turned. I, I see. I was this, Stephen McGregor was next to me, or Professor Vengeance. He was next to me, and he was chatting away. But I don't know. He was, he was chatting to you, Ben, or something else. And I just says. He was asking me if I was all right, and I said, and I, says, I don't know how to tell you this, Steve, but I think I'm getting pissed. I think I'm slightly pissed. And he's like, really? <laughs> he's like how many? He says, how many you had? And I says, about that much. And he's like, how are you going to tell you this? If you had well, that? Well, that's because it's scrumpy. Well, I know that. But it's, I know that now, but I was like, the reason why I kept drinking it there was because the I didn't know, I didn't register. Like, it, it's, it's basically a slow-acting one. That's basically what it is. It works from the ground up. That's why it's, yeah, it's like wine. <clears throat> yeah, get a delayed reaction on it. Yeah, so, um, don't, yeah, don't, don't mention wise bit, uh, wine because apparently I'm Moss Clark. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. do you know what? Yeah. Um, yeah. Had a kind of Chris's right? nickname, actually. Apparently, we gave him a nickname last week, which is Oz Clark. I, I, was, I was watching something uh, to do with uh, James May being iconic, and there was this one thing where. Uh, so, like an ordinary uh, James May, then? Yeah, well, it. It had different clips of James May, and there was one where James did something with Oz Clark. Um, not sure which program it was from, but Oz was talking about some wine, and James oh, just was... gets this gun out, and he shits the bottle and just goes, shut up! Was it Drink to Britain? No, no, that's the one. That's the, I think. That, I think that might be the one where they actually, um, yeah, they go, they go around Britain or like the United Kingdom trying to find like you know what's the best uh, beverage that you know they can you can drink, and uh, a beer that doesn't get you drunk. <laughs> <laughs> what does it taste like? I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you know, my neighbor went through a similar situation as you, where it's like. 
Oh, well, well, the only difference was she had, she had amnesia. Yeah. So what happened was um, she was about 70 something. She would, she had a glass of wine. And because she's got amnesia, she forgot she had a glass of wine. She had another one. <laughs> and she just kept, and apparently this carried on because when we, when we went around there, uh, she passed out on the floor. Blimey. <laughs> I couldn't remember why. <laughs> There's a, there's an old song I actually remember hearing um, from some Irishman or something or whatever, but it was basically like he was trying to get rid of his wine, like his wine collection or something. Uh, he couldn't find any buyers, so he thought to himself, like, you know, well, I might as well just pour it down the sink here. But he says, like, you know, it's good wine. Like, you know, he might as well taste to see what it's like here. So, he, so, he, so for each bottle he pours down the drain, he takes a glass full and downs it. But like it, it's some sort of a song, I don't know. But every but every time, like you know, he gets he gets to like uh, I think probably maybe the fourth verse before it actually starts to kick in. He starts to get even. He starts to slur his words, and he gets he gets the chorus all mixed up back and forth. Right. Okay. Uh, but he but he, he's he, he's he's doing this in front of like a live audience, and the audience that kind of mm-hmm. are like sorry, like saying like you know oh, what's happening now, and then when he when he starts slurring his words, they're like, all oh, right, he's pissed now. <laughs> Um, what's wrong with him? Oh, he's pissed. Yeah. Oh, he's pissed now. Even though he's not, he hasn't. He's only drinking water. <laughs> Lucas, I asked. Uh, speaking of drinks, what what's your favourite brand of tea? So, brand of tea. Tea. Yeah. Tea. Oh, that's a good tea? idea. Tea. Oh, tea. Um, tea. <laughs> well, it's hard to know because I don't know what all brands I always drink, but. I think I think I often had PG tips. I think. Okay, well, PG tips from Chris here. Uh, Gav, you're putting something in your body. You don't, you don't know what it is. <laughs> oh, okay. it, it could be sewage for all I know. Yeah, <laughs> that's how addiction starts. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Tell you what, this old grey tea is getting weaker by the year. It's I'm, not, weak as I'm not drinking. I'm not drinking the black other stuff. It's like a. It's like. Try making it taste less like mud this time. Not in the uh, that's going to be hard to do that there, sir. Well, why is that, Bulgic? Because it is mud. Because <laughs> <laughs> it is mud. So, so, so what? So, what other brands do we drink? Well, I'm, I'm oh, now right. I'm now a Tetley drinker. Is Yorkshire drinker? Ah, uh, well, yeah. Yorkshire tea. <laughs> Have a proper brew. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah they're not like not like good, a good old cup of tea, yeah, lad. It's a proper brew where well, you don't put the milk in first. Yeah. I always put in the milk second. Yeah. I'll drink it black, so I have to be the weirdo as usual. I know plenty of people who just drink it black. Yeah, no. I prefer, uh, I think, for standard teas, probably Yorkshire tea is my preference. Although, on the whole, I quite like certain green teas or hybrids like oolong tea and gablong. They're quite nice. Yeah. I often drink, um, like, before I started drinking Teddy tea, I used to drink quite a lot of peppermint tea. Yeah, that's good. Uh, mm-hmm. I mostly get the one from Tesco, like the, the Tesco version one there, because for some reason it actually, it actually tastes a lot, a lot stronger, I think. Yeah. I don't, I don't actually drink tea. I mean, I, I, I drink if I'm giving it, but I don't, like, it's not something I go, I go out to make myself. Oh. Or coffee, for that I don't drink any of that. Oh, I can't, I can't, I can't stand coffee. I, I used to drink coffee a lot, and now I wouldn't touch it. No, <clears throat> I drink coffee more often than I do tea. Well, it's just I, do like to drink I don't drink tea well. whatsoever. Mm. I tend to drink decaffeinated coffee about six o'clock onwards, because otherwise you you don't sleep. Right, let's see. Like I'm, I'm British and I drink tea. I'm such a naughty renegade. <laughs> you're such a rebel. I know. You're British. You're not drinking tea. Well, we did steal it from the, you know, from China and India. So oh, true, technically, yeah. it's not ours. I, I think India's where seventy percent of our tea trade comes from. <laughs> yeah, probably. Well, then again, I've, I've heard people drink nettle tea. No, I've drunk that. Yeah. If you see nettles in the bowl, I'll hold and eat it. Right. This is going to be a Yes, it's a bit weird because, you know, if someone asked me, you know, what tea do you drink? And I said, I don't. They'd give me a weird look. It's like, I just don't like it. Fair enough. I get that people ask me about football team support and say I don't like football. 
I don't like football. Because, because like I, I, like I said, there I drink Tedley tea. Because I mean, like I swear, I don't, I don't know how I actually got into drinking it. The, the Tedley tea folk, remember them boys? Oh yeah, yeah. Because how did you forget? I know, and uh, there was this. Uh, I remember from my childhood. Actually, uh, there was a, it was the one where they somehow the Tedley tea folk wake up Snow White or somebody like with a cup of tea, and they're like, "There you go, brew." What you slept? <laughs> you slept on all day, so you might as well take a brew. <laughs> And she's just like, she just wakes up. She's like, "Oh, hello." And he's like, "All right, love. Yeah, you want brew? <laughs> yeah, cup of tea, deadly." <laughs> well, the thing is, you mentioned about Indian tea. There's actually a railway connection with that. The Darjeeling Railway. Yeah, that folks. The railway powered by D. Oh, Oh, that's, that's, okay. that's the picture I'm looking for. No, I, I do, I do like myself a Darjeeling tank engine. They're, they're very nice. Mm. Can't drink from though, but. <laughs> I think there's at least six engines still working daily on it. Mm. Well, not at the moment, I suspect, but you know. Yeah. Well, the um, pilot. Well, apparently the Polish steam services haven't stopped. Yeah, they they wouldn't have done like no, they still use on the national network. No, they're, they're technically a commuter service. Yeah. Yeah, I, I went, me and um, Tom Jersey went there last year. It was a lot of fun. <laughs> And then that China colliery that was meant to close later on in the year, that's probably closed now for good. Possibly. <laughs> Sorry. The last working China steam. Let's see. It's actually surprising how much steam is still working commercially even to this day. Yeah. Oh bugger! Well, sad news, well, right? Um, no, it's another. Oh, isn't it the um? Is it Union South Africa that's uh, been that's apparently going to be put in a museum at some point? Don't know. Yeah, yeah, it's going to uh, John Cameron's uh, property up in Scotland. Yeah. It's a shame. It's a shame they're doing that because I mean, I, I mean, obviously the guy who owns it doesn't want to do the tours anymore. But he doesn't have to be there technically to do it. I think. But... No. Mm. I had a lot of good memories of um, you know, South Africa. I used to live when I was studying in Plymouth. I used to live right next to the railway station, and on any steam tour she was doing, she'd stop there and turn around. Yeah, and then the fella also owns Great Marquess. The 300 mogul. Mm -hmm. Now that's a rare machine. Mm. Right. <clears throat> no, sorry, I was just thinking this model. I think I've done it. Okay, it looks all right. I'm just thinking they of... boil tea with the engines. <laughs> they do. Yeah. I, I take it you're talking about the Darjeeling then. Joseph. So I think Ryan could learn from that because he said apparently he had to use a microwave to make his tea or something. Oh, I've never done yeah. that. I've never done that. Yeah. Well, I heard that during the week that I was like, what? That's that's not right. No, you can't. That's, that's not right at all. Um, well, it would need <clears throat> He did, he, did, he, did say, he did say, though, he didn't, he didn't make any improvement to it, though, so, you know. <laughs> Have any of you heard of a Windermere kettle? A what? A Windermere, Windermere kettle. No. It, it's, a, it's a steam-powered kettle. So, so um, you know the Lake Windermere steam launches, the, the boats? Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. Well. Yeah. So you've got this round uh, cylindrical thing, and it's got a coil inside where the steam goes through, 
and that boils the water. Hmm. Boils two cups of tea in about 30 seconds. That's good. Hmm. But also, I actually found out like, there's actually a steam engine you can actually buy that's actually powered by a cup of tea. What's wrong with boiling? Uh, what's wrong with boiling tea in a microwave? I don't well, know. I just never it's, done it's, it. It's not really. It's not really what you call boiling. Really, you just more or less microwaving it. Yeah. yeah. It's like it's it's it means. Yeah. You know, it's like a boiling soup, and no, 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 I'm cooking soup. You know, you get, you get a dry frog or something. You can leave it in there for too long. Uh. But I've never, I've never had microwave tea in the, in the microwave because we just use a saucepan. Yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, whatever you want to do, do it. But I've, I've just never used a microwave to make tea. No, it's very Just don't use microwave at all. Right. As soon as I get my new kitchen, I'm gonna, as soon as I get my new kitchen, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see about buying a whistling kettle because I always want one of those. Yeah, like the camp uh, type kettles. Yeah. Yeah, we've got one of those for the motorhome. Um, no, uh, going back, uh, going back to microwaves in a minute. Whatever you do, for God's sake, don't leave the spoon in it. Well, yeah, obviously. If, if you if you've ever seen MythBusters, you know about it. And you've watched a lot of MythBusters. <laughs> I used to. Yes, I loved it. Well, sure. Have you, do you watch uh, Adam Sandler's uh, Adam Savage's uh, Tester? No, I might have to look at that. Check. Actually, watch his channel. Actually, his channel t Tester. Yeah, you actually will get some really interesting stuff. He does all these really cool one D build stuff, and his, you get you get to see all them working in his workshop. It's actually pretty awesome. Yeah, yeah I've, I've seen, seen some, some of his one day builds, like um, like when he scratch builds models and that, and then shows like where all the uh, the detail like Greeblies came from. Yeah, and plus he also does like cosplaying as well. Like he does like the the spirited away no face one and um yeah my neighbor Toto. I've actually that's actually an anime I've actually yet to, to actually watch it. I'm actually I've I've got like a bucket list of some animes I actually want to see and ones I want to rewatch again like Howl's Moving Castle. I really love that film. I want to see that but again. Like, that's the one but like, you know, yeah. But like you know uh, Adam is very creative and that's no surprise because he was a model maker uh, by profession. Yeah, oh, in we, fact, yeah, he worked on uh, a lot of uh, like prop making for a lot of big yeah. films, like uh, well, Star Wars and that. Yeah, well, uh, in Jurassic Park. Yeah, well, interesting fact: uh, J uh, James Cameron, who directed uh, Titanic. Um, uh, Titanic and Terminator, he was a model maker. Yeah. yeah. Before he became a director. All right. You know, um. Is there, even, is there even Derek Mennings there? Who, uh, if you if you've never heard of him, like you know, uh, he's the guy. Wasn't, who does, he, wasn't he part of the pyrotechnics team on Thunderbirds? Yeah, in fact, he was, yeah, he's the guy who actually comes up with all the special effects in that there. So he created the he created the idea of the rolling sky backdrop, the the rolling road system, and yeah, quite a lot of like you know like the explosions and stuff you see in Thunderbirds. But he also probably, went, probably talked as well. Well, possibly, yeah. Maybe he taught David Lim a few things here. But yeah, he, I think uh, he was involved in tugs. Derek Bennings. I'm very sure he was. Hmm. Well, I did hear. I did actually hear rumors from like from, not rumors, but like stories from uh, folks who used to work on Thunderbirds out there. They used to say that Derek Derek used to love the uh, the explosive jelly jelly night. <laughs> He was always he was always passionate about that there and trying to incorporate it in as much as he can. And he says he says that he says there was one time uh, I can't remember which scene it was or what what episode it was, but uh, Derek got all like you know you got the Jedi like, nod there you got in the right area you know, what he wants needs to do sort of. And when they said action, there was a massive expl like the massive explosion, a big loud bang, the whole roof nearly came off. It was just like a big giant fireball, and. When they look back at the set, there like like only half the set was left, or maybe like one third of the set was left. And uh, the guy says, 
well, I think what the, I think I think Derek just looked at me. He was like, yeah, I think maybe 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 you overdid it. <laughs> Maybe we've done it a bit there, but yeah, it turned out pretty well. You said big, big explosion. You didn't specify how big, so I just went as big as I could. I know. <laughs> I actually, I, I even did here as well. Like the uh, the puppeteers used to get used to have like often little arguments about, um, like you know, there's some scenes and like Captain Scar, for example, uh, in episode one where Captain Brown explodes um, doing that suicide bomb thing. But uh, they actually said, like, you know, the puppeteers just used to, like, hand the puppet over to the special effects team. This is going to just say, like, you know, please don't do anything harsh to him. And he's like, no, no worries. And they fit, a, fit away explosion. Thinking and Simon recharge. And Simon said, when you look back at the whole thing, you just see the whole pot explode. <laughs> 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 so, oh, so all I can see left there is just a few limbs here and there. And I'm like, wow. Spindle sap. Yep, yeah, it does. If you put it in a microwave. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Can I have the for a second, Mike? Yeah, hold on a sec. Uh, I've just done one side. Ah, very nice. I don't think, but when I've done the other side, I'll just start finding the stair and yeah. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Awesome, awesome. Awesome. Uh, Lucas, quick Michael, Michael question. Ooh, okay. Uh, what are you using for the platform for the single bit gantry? Is it scratched or the base of the single box kit? Using the base of the kit here. So I am modifying the uh, the pieces of the kit here, going by <laughs> photographs of the real thing, which I have. Um, I'll give you one example. I'll give you a few examples here. Hang on a sec. I'll put the share screen for a bit here. Okay, so uh, yeah, I'll use this one for an example. So I'm using this picture here as, as a reference here. So you can see this is the, the single box here on the original layout. So I'm trying to modify the, the support gantry section here to try and make that, make that up using whatever bits I have. But uh, from what I can see, the parts here from the actual signal gantry bit itself here don't really match up with, with uh, say, like this bit here. So I might have to try and modify the kit in a way to actually incorporate those in. So uh, that's going to be a wee bit, bit of work to do. Or I could probably just maybe cut some strips of plastic card and then just glue those in. But I'll see what I can do here. But yeah, so in case you're wondering where, in case people are wondering where I got this this photograph from, this is actually from my last trip to the top. <coughs> so uh, I was able to get a, get a good shot of the. The layout and all from there. So if I just zoom out for a bit, you can actually see what's there on the layout. So, so yeah. Also, by the way, I just actually looked at I looked at this building here, which is the the water tower. Apparently, the, I think that's that that was a, a later addition um, before the Revenant retired um, retired from modeling. And the original building that was there was a built easy card kit. So I do I do have a copy of that kit. So um, for my replica, I think I'm just going to actually use that one, but I will build this one as well because I mean, I've got the parts for it, so it's e an easy enough conversion, really. But yeah, so I think really wanted to just it. swap them around. Yeah, interesting point they just brought up. I mean, can you ever see can you guys ever see yourself like retiring from modeling? Sorry, can you ever see yourself retiring from modeling, guys? I hope not. Oh, well. <laughs> At this rate, like you know, if, uh, with, my, with my projects out there, like you know, replicating Re Re Revenant Re stuff here, like you know, I'm surprised, like you know, how much is actually being done. Like you know, I'm do I've done Firecore, I'm, I'm sort of doing Firecore Mark II in, in a slow process here. We're planning on doing Mid Sodor, and we're in the process of building the Northwestern Railway replica. I'm like, yeah, so I'm kind of like, yeah. It's a bit. If I had more space, like you know, if I actually had more enthusiasm, I would have also tackled the Scar Louis Railway layout, but. Mm -hmm. I haven't really got around to that yet. Yeah, I, I think I just would come and go sort of thing. Yeah. Well, you're layered though, Chris. It's more or less like a... a it's more like a train set, really. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah nothing, nothing wrong with that, Like, Because, I mean... No, no. Because, I mean, I've seen some collectors, like... Um, let me see, I'm trying to think of a good example. Like, uh, Ronald Dodd. Right, his layout is is all like Hornby Double O based, and my God, 
if if anybody wants to like you know open up a new tab in their browser, look up Ronald Dodd on YouTube. His layout is amazing, a, a spectacular uh, layout, all made from Hornby Double O stuff. Uh, with some with some buildings that he made himself, so he's made like a, a Hornby Double O inspired model of King's Cross Station. Do you mean sorry? Do you mean Hornby Duplo? It's Duplo. Oh, Duplo is Lego. Not Duplo, sorry. Um, Duplo. You see, he's a Duplo, child. Yeah. That's why. Shit. He's <laughs> <laughs> well, he's older than you, Chris. Duplo, okay. This is true. <laughs> this is true. Makes Chris a baby. Okay. I'm, am I the youngest here? Yes. Possibly. 25. <laughs> 27, mate. Well, coming 20, 28. 28. Yeah, I'm coming 28 in July, so I must be the granddad then. Yeah, you're the you're, yeah, you're you're the you're the grandpa. <laughs> How about you? That's all I don't. No, I mean I could do more with the layout at some point, but I was thinking on even building uh like a little branch line terminus. All right. J just just for the lols. Well, if you want, Chris, like you, you can, you can, you can come down to the Model Railway Club, like you know, and help out there, give you some more experience. Really, we could do, we could do with extra members because there's only the six of us. I would love to join. But right. There's an enormous <laughs> problem with that. Yeah, yeah, there, there's, there's a big there's blue a thing in between you and us. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> and we're not talking about Thomas here. <laughs> oh, Gordon. Big blue wet thing. Uh, uh, oh, that big blue it, wet thing. I mean, it's a whale. I don't know. <laughs> no, well, um, I mean, re really, I've got enough on my plate because I've also got a five inch gauge simplex uh, to build at some point. What, a simplex loco? Yes. Um, oh, I love Mar Mar Martin Evans has uh, simplex and a so, six well, inch tank well, engine. So. So okay, so let me get it straight now here. So you've got now, uh, you got a Lee Grange, you've got yes. Dylan, yes, you've got Gene Anderson, the logo, yes. not the actress, but the logo. You've got Wee Aver, the Traxxon engine, yes. You've got loads of Hornby DCC logos and stuff. Yes, I've got yeah. Walascos up here. Yeah, you got two Walascos. You got one. You got one MSS uh, X Mamod. Yes. Uh, and now you get, and now you've got a five inch engine. I think it's safe to say I could sell something. <laughs> yeah. Like, no, friends, you've got, this is bad. You've got like, uh, how many laundry layouts? Um, a garden, <laughs> a railway, a seven and a quarter. Like oh, that. yes, and I've got LGB. Thanks for reminding me. <laughs> yeah, LGB trains, yeah. This is why you stick to one scale. Yeah. I used I used to have a five inch gauge line that sat in that corner when it, it wasn't running. Well, it didn't run all that well, did it? No. That's, uh, why, that's why we got rid of it. Well, it still worked again, as far as I remember. Somebody well, got it running again. Um, Brian Patton has it. No, you know Brian. Yeah. Uh, Lucas just asked here the supports for the signal gantry are middle sections of the signal canopy kits from the dapple. Is that right? Uh, let me see. Let's see. Uh, yeah, those are the ones that I'm using. So, judging by the just, just judging by photographs, not there. So, um, Lucas, I'm just trying to see. And then, of course, like you know, traditional signal box from. From Dapple. So yeah, I, I I got these I got these kits I think maybe I don't know two years ago now, and uh, they've just been sitting in a box. Actually, I I, I kept it really just so for when I'm you know starting this build. So but, I'd like to borrow your expertise for a wee minute, Michael. Yeah. Um, where are the crank pins for this thing? Oh, they should be molded in now. Well, the wheels don't have the crank pins in them, so yeah, yeah, yeah. The the pins uh, are like it's, are separate. You had to push them in. Is, is that them there? <sighs> Hang on, mate. Let me get. Let me... It's it's not a good. 
Now I'll try, try and hold it up the other way. Wait, hang on. Uh, focus here. Turn, turn, focus turn, turn, it, turn it around a wee bit there. So I can, so yeah, I can turn, see it, turn it so it's facing the camera. That's it. There you yeah. go. Right. Uh, will uh, it be yes, these those, ones yeah. on the top? Yeah, those are the Yeah, cameras. I think that's it. Right, and then the uh, cross yeah, head yeah. pins are the long ones. Yeah. So right. yeah, so you just put those in. Make sure make sure the, the valve gear section is loose. So don't glue that in place unless you want it to fix. So yeah, don't you, mate. Yeah, well I've got a bit of a problem. The leading axle's a wee bit stiff. Well it does um, turn, it's just stiff. So. Yeah. It's the first well, time I'm could... making one of these. Uh, what you can do if if any of the uh, axles are a bit stiff, just um, maybe, like maybe. use a round file and uh, very carefully um, file out the inside of the axle box. Or maybe yeah, well, uh, well, that's a bit box. difficult to do because they're glued in now. Ah, <laughs> ah, well, 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 then, well, then, well, then, well, then it's definitely a static display then. Okay. <laughs> well, then you stuffed. <laughs> well, I'm screwed. <laughs> <laughs> Don't fuck it up! I fucked it up. You fucked it up. <laughs> this is certainly not PG. I think I'm, still, I'm still laughing from last week's stream when uh, when Simon showed, showed us that Dalek. Yes, he that's... screams it. Oh, yeah. Derek. Derek the Dalek. Derek the Dalek. Oh, oh my Derek. god, he has a Dalek. <laughs> ah. Try some of these. Well, it's too late. It's too late, Gavin. He's already glued the things in now. Can't you use that? Take the wheels out and just spin them in. No, it's just they're glued. It's all, it's it's all glued. It's a different thing now. It's different. If, if you use them, that's not coming okay. undone. No. Okay. It's it's the uh, yeah, it's the uh, revel version. Yeah, revel. Revel. This is why I prefer using uh, super glue <coughs> my uh, Warhammer models because then if I have to undo it, it's not fused together. Yeah. Well, yeah, but used... then, yeah, but then it's not as sturdy in certain ways. Well, the glue I used... Oh, oh no, th this <laughs> stuff makes it really sturdy. Oh, is it is it cyanoacridic adhesive or something like that? Oh yeah, the industrial grade stuff. I, I buy I buy that that a lot. There, my yeah. hardware shop has that. Well, that's yeah, not they, going I, anywhere. Oh yeah, yeah you've got the uh, right. more runny stuff. Yeah, that that's the one I have. Same stuff. So yeah. oh, five ninety nine. You've been ripped off. Yeah, I get mine for two ninety nine. <laughs> this is fiddly if it's going to focus. I don't know if it's going to. It's not, is it? But then again, all couplings are fiddly, Kev. Yeah. From Dapple, does it's it go brum or boom? It's not going to focus, is it? <laughs> don't forget it. Oh, there, ah, there, oh, there we go. <laughs> we have to get this little to... hook and put it in there, right? Aye. Sort of. Okay. There you go. So it can pivot, and then you got to thread it through there, and then clamp it in. It's an absolute pain in the bum. Hence why hence why I use Sprat and Winkle couplings. Um yeah, Michael, do you the, know yeah, or, know. Oh, do you know what Joseph means by from pap uh, dapple does it go bum? Don't know, because I mean I know oh. Dapple did other stuff. I mean, really, it's just an old Airfix kit, and even before that, Kitmaster. Yeah, fine enough though. Actually, I actually remember seeing in the old days um, when I was doing when I used to look through the websites oh. of like uh, the Airfix and Kitmaster stuff. They they actually did a motor kit for the, for that that one. Like a motor, you can actually buy a motor chassis kit for that that specific kit. And I think Branch Lines and I do one as well. Ow. Stop hurting yourself. Got it. Oh, I, I know you enjoy it, but but just don't. <laughs> How do you know he likes it? Some people do hurt themselves for pleasure. Yeah, it's a thing. Yeah, it's, it's called being a go it's called God. No, email, oh, email. Um, I've just lost a crank pin. I'm going to have to look for it here. I think that's <laughs> we just clap? He's now joined the um, the truth of being a modeler. Yay. Yay. The, the, the carpet gods have not claimed one it. <laughs> He's one of us. One of us. Gabriel, 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 Gabriel. What the hell? Oh. 
Don't you know, Chris, it's for the greater good. The greater <laughs> the good. Right, right. good. <laughs> I've done it. It's done it. He made a thing. I'm, I did a thing. Put the handles on each side. Now what I've got to do is put the, is, um, put the supports on it. Awesome. E.g. these bits. All right. If you know what I mean, like the yeah, the wire and things. The the wiry doodads. The wiry doodads, yes. Wiry doodads. The thingies. Do that, that is the technical term for, it, I believe. Yeah. No, the but technical I... term is thingy, my bob. Yeah. yeah, the doodad. Oh yeah, there's a, there was a funny story I heard one time where um, this kid used to have a school teacher, and he used to he used to, his. Sure, all kids used to have a school teacher. What are you talking about? It's okay. It's okay. Just let me just tell the story. Let <laughs> it finish. Yeah. Well, <laughs> anyway, he had this. He had this uh, traditional school teacher, but he always had this. His teacher always did this thing where every time he wants you to do something, he used to go like, "You know, right? You do that, and you do that, and you do that." And he had a nickname which was "Do That." <laughs> so he said it once that something happened in school, which was which results in the teacher getting a mild, uh, serious concussion. And uh, and so the, the headmaster had to tell, like you know, well, you have to tell his wife that he's dead, or he's he's, he's seriously hurt. So the kids thought he died. So he goes over to the house, his uh, teacher's house out there, and his wife answers the door, and he says he doesn't even know the teacher's real name. He just says, "Are you Mrs. Duda?" She's like, "Yeah." Are you my dear Mr. Duda? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, and and he just said, and what do you think he says? He says, "Guess who died in school today?" Do da do da. Oh God! <laughs> so, um, yeah. what what is it? Uh, something train lover has said something very true. You are not a model maker or, or a real modeler until you've dropped something and it disappears. Yeah, yeah. It's a, it's a rite of passage. Exactly. Yeah, it's like it's, it's, it's the carpet it's, god. Yeah, the carpet gods. <laughs> Yeah, the gods. Yeah, and the smaller and more significant and unique the part, the less likely the carpet gods will be to give it up. Yes. Yeah. But we had to do. We had, we had to sacrifice it for the greater good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> if it's if it's a part I need, the greater good can shove it. <laughs> I need shove that bomb. You need that bomb. Don't say that. Don't don't say that outside the house. <laughs> was it not was it not even in Hot Fuzz as well, where like when when they actually repeat saying the word the greater girl that that um Angel said Nicholas Angel just shared like saying like, you know, oh shut up, will you? <laughs> <laughs> oh shut up. Don't you that's the greater good, the greater good. Oh shut up. <laughs> <laughs> oh shut it. <laughs> shut it. Oh, I actually do remember watching it. I actually got that film from for I think it was for my twelfth birthday, and my sister, my sister thought it was just like a, you know. You're, you're going back a wee bit now. I know. My sister, I think my sister thought it was just like you know, just a silly film to watch it. But when we actually saw like you know how much blood and gore was actually, and I was like, oh god. <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> I was watching. I was like, oh, that is actually pretty awesome. It's like one of the best, best, best uh, police cop films I've ever seen. What about uh, Beverly Hill Cops? If you're talking about cop programs and movies, um, yeah, I think it's quite good. Yeah, Beverly Hill Cops is quite good. Eddie Murphy. Yeah, but then you can't. You, mean, you can't have. You can't have a, uh, a cop film without even talking about Police Academy. <laughs> I mean, what well, you can film the last one. Eh? You can ignore the last Police Academy yeah. mission to Moscow. That was a bit rubbish. You, oh, you can right. forget any of them that don't have uh, Mahoney in them. Yeah. Yeah. Tackleberry! Oh, God, Tackleberry was one of the best guys. <laughs> <laughs> He's just a maniac with a gun. I know. Marvel Jones was my favourite there, uh, Michael Winslow. Oh, making all the different noises. I know. It's a little bit one where he's just he's just like mimicking the uh, the video game. He's just like he's just he's just hearing going <laughs> game over. <laughs> <laughs> he he, all those sound effects himself. Yeah, he did actually. Yeah, and uh, 
Oh. It, it just made a great money. And then, and then when the police riot, when the riots are all on, he just like he's, 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 he's trying try to use the intercom to try and tell the crowd to go away. And he's like, "Oh, for God's sake, give me the thing!" The police. Oh, for God's sake, give me the give me the microphone. And he just gets thinking, starts imitating gun noises. <laughs> <laughs> Carpet has gone, has got my chains. Wines. <laughs> How dare. <laughs> I actually, I just remembered that I was thinking before the stream actually started. Um, you know how we were talking about Oz Clark, Clark and his love of wines? Yeah. Maybe he should have been in the Tipfield Thunderbolt then. Oh. I hardly think they ever gonna will like, but if they ever thought about making a re doing a remix of um, Titular Thunderbolt, Ozclog would be the perfect choice for Mister Valentine. <laughs> I don't think they should though, because that might ruin it. Yeah, I mean, they did a remake. That's the problem with remakes. Yeah, they, they did a remake. They did a remake of the Lady Killers, but you know, it wasn't the same without Sarah Guinness in it. Pretty I'm, I'm sorry, I, thought, I think you mean to say Obi Wan Kenobi. Okay, <laughs> Obi Wan Kenobi. <laughs> oh, you yeah. know, I always, if you want to know why I why I chose the role, I always wanted to play a wizard. You're a wizard, <laughs> Harry. I can answer. <laughs> I know, I know what. <laughs> oh, actually, I thought what was a really nice, a really nice touch is um, when in Star <laughs> Wars uh, Rebels, when um, uh, what was it? When Obi Wan appears, he's it, he's older, like he is in uh, A New Hope, but they oh, made yeah. the voice sound like Alec Guinness rather than uh, Ewan McGregor. <laughs> uh, who voices him, actually? I don't know who the voice actor is in the series, but like I said, they they, they tried to make him sound like uh, Alec Guinness, and I thought it was really nice. Uh, Rather than just guy, go with the same actor. Who's the other guy who plays him? Is it Ian McGregor? Ian McGregor? Yeah, Ian McGregor. He plays uh, a younger Obi Wan. Uh, <coughs> does he not? Does he not play the character in, like in the in the animated series? In Clone Wars, he does. Yeah. Yeah. But when, because Rebels is set uh, later, it's um, it's obviously Obi Wan is old, yeah. so they've uh, depicted him as he was in the films. Well, it wasn't it wasn't Ian McGregor doing the voice of Obi Wan in um, Clone Wars. No, it wasn't. No, but um, but they did get. What's funny is they actually got Liam Neeson to come back and play Qui Gon. They did, that? yeah. Oh. But then then again, he only had a handful of uh, speaking parts, so. They didn't probably wouldn't have had to pay him anywhere near as much. I love yeah. how his ghost didn't stop Anakin from becoming Darth Vader. <laughs> they, they pawn it every time. They just they just tell, they just expand on the story every every time, just for the sake mm. of. <laughs> the, the Lego railway modeler. I, I turn on the stream, and the first sentence I hear is, "He's just a maniac with a gun." <laughs> <laughs> well, welcome to Modeler's Corner. <laughs> Can we talk about anything but models? Oh, yeah. I was say, um, did, wait, this is again. Does anyone play a game called Lego Loco when they were kids? Yes, yes. Oh, I love that game. Yeah. It's a bit shit now, but it was good then. Hey, it's not. It's still. It still holds up. Not quite. Um, it's a bit basic now because like you don't really get any add-ons to play it. You don't. It doesn't really go anywhere. Just you simply just build the build the layout, build the you know, and choose what train you want to run, and that's it. You don't get to design the trains or anything. Or. Mm. And of course, oh, they also uh, bring that one. on. And they're talking weird, weird voices like, like oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> oh, I'm not done with my name. And then, oh, and then, 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 and Oh, when you pick up the people, I find that crazy. Every time you pick them up, they always they always. Oi! 
Ah, some of the, some of the, some of them go, some of them go, oi, or some or some of the, some of the, some of them just screams, great, just go like, ah, no. <laughs> <laughs> If you put them in the grass and things, yeah. Well, then again, they would cry about anything, like so. Yeah, yeah. The, the, I think the humor in the very early Lego games was uh, interesting, to say the least. Yeah. Lego Island was the the best, I think. Like, <laughs> oh yeah, loved that game. I can't remember actually playing Lego Island. I I've I've never played, played it, but I've seen that. I think, I, yeah, I think it was like the very first Lego game. I mean, we're talking like Windows yeah. 95. Oh, God. That, well, that, 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 is, that was my first computer, actually. Yeah. Um, what was this one game? I actually, I did remember there was one game I played. It's it very, it very old preschool one called Adibu. Oh, I remember that, game. that. Oh, God. Yeah, do you remember that one? Oh. That was just... giving me nightmares now. Uh, oh, well. <laughs> oh, don't, don't start singing it. Uh, People will think we're weird. I used to I mean, like they don't it. already. Well, why do you think? Why do you think they keep coming back to watch this stream? Well, this is <laughs> this is true, Michael. Right now, well, I'll tell you why they keep coming back. They keep coming back to see me. Oh wait, that's the last thing they want to do. Your second appearance in the stream, okay? Not <laughs> <laughs> you, you, your first you, appearance. You, you appeared in last week's stream because you were like saying, "Oh, can I join? Can I join?" I'm like, mm, okay. And you, <laughs> yeah, I said, oh, we know how badly that went. Yeah, and I said, I, I says, "Have you got a model to make?" Well, he says, he says "Well, I've got a pug." And I says, "Right, he's got a pug. He goes in, and he what's he doing instead? He builds a Lamborghini." It wasn't a Lamborghini. It was a Jaguar. Oh, no, sorry, a freaking Jag, not a pug. I was so sorry. disappointed. That does not look like a Lamborghini. Yeah, it's still intact and it hasn't burst into flames. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I've also gone and asked Martin I could build, but I'll spare you that tonight. Oh, what model? Which version? Uh, DV5. Oh, good. Okay, well, well, we'll let you off that one. <laughs> That's a good car. That's a good one. Um, but there is actually one Airfix kit I would like to build someday, and that's the uh, mass of uh, Bentley. Oh, Bentley. Yeah, yeah, one of the the uh, ones like they had at Le Mans or Brooklands. Oh yeah, the big blowers. Actually, here that that reminds me. Has any of you guys ever bought uh, anything? Bought anything from this magazine before? Obviously Probably not. Nope. Not me. No. Like, no, no. This actually, I find this. I find this pretty actually quite interesting because I, I came across this like during my college years, or you know, uh, after my college years, and it's got, it's got like everything, like you know, from you know, you can make models of like Starship Enterprise, Space nineteen ninety nine. Remember that show? Uh, nope. The yeah. Adam West, Adam West Batman. You oh, you're going back a fair bit with that. Yeah. Uh, Jukes of Hazard. There's a lot of it. <laughs> See, I told you. But he... This is one thing I had to point out about Chrissy. He bursts into song at random times. <laughs> I'll, I'll tell you this. You mention anything, and I'll find a song to go with those words. Yeah, and then I'll get sued for copyright. <laughs> <laughs> copyright strike. Yeah. And it'll be all, and it'll be all my fault. Yes, and you get kicked off the stream. <laughs> uh, yeah, we like never also, let him on the stream again. Yeah, yeah, but they also have like you know, uh, like Dapple kits and other. Um, oh yeah, that reminds me actually. Um, I've actually ordered off a, a kit version of Steven's rocket there, so maybe next week here I'm actually might have a go. Steven's rocket. Yeah, my, my yeah bought a thing of uh, Steven's rocket there. Uh, so I'm gonna try and see if I can buy that. I was gonna see if I can, what, make it up and make it look like the original version with the the buffer beam on it. Uh, so yeah, there's page on docks models, toy figure soldiers, yeah. But then it also has a page, this also has a page here, so you can buy your own modeling tools as well. So, like you know, sanding lathe, uh, bench drills, jigsaws, and then you know, then it goes on to like you know, doll houses. And then you can also, there's also like kits to make toys and that there, so it's actually really good. So if you find it, you can find it, you can find it in any like you know news agents or um, magazine shops. Easons will probably have these, so keep an eye out for that. Right, uh, okay, it's fifteen minutes uh, past eight, so we might as well get started on the showcase. Oh, wow. shall we? All right, that's gone quick. 
Yeah, it's gone quick though, yeah. Right, let's see now. You get the... oh, everything I feel, I've barely made any progress so far because I'm trying to work out of the how things <laughs> oh, The crank pins just come out. <laughs> Was it worthy of the screen, Chris? Then put it back in. <laughs> You hear that? You hear that? You hear that? Did you hear that, folks? You all heard was, and then a long pause, and I was like, the crank pins come out. <laughs> Don't well, laugh, it's a very serious problem. <laughs> okay, uh, right, I got the folder up now here, so um, let's see what you mind. Apologies to those if I can't remember your names, but here we go. All right, hang on, get this. <laughs> Uh, right, where's this? Why are we waiting? <laughs> Tom, give me a sec here. <laughs> right, okay, here we go. So first, up, so, first up on here, we got some models of mid solar engines. So, we have Ooh, like uh, we've got Bertram, we got could be Bertram or Duke, and then we got Tim. I'll work out what the one in the middle is, but it's pretty good. Yeah, uh, Tim, and then we got Chorus there with a 3D printed face, sir, which is being made. That's pretty cool. The one in the middle, I, um, oh, the very kit. Yeah. Apparently, like, there's quite a lot of, uh, a lot of the mid uh, engines actually were made from those kits. All right. You can get, like, different varieties of them there for different engines. So, like, Tim, Jerry, uh, no, I don't think, I don't know if Jerry actually was, uh, was one of those, but uh, yeah, Jim was one of those. So apparently, it's Bertram. Someone said. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, it's Bertram. Yeah, that's what, that's what it said. Yeah, because of the face. <laughs> there, yeah, because <laughs> now there. A character we've only really ever seen once. Hmm. Yeah, because it was just, it's just literally it's just Duke with with, with, with um, Smudge's face on it. Yeah, that's basically who it is. Yeah. But there you go, new character. <laughs> totally original. Yeah, I like, I do like the the, 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 the photon print though of um, Cora's face. That's quite nice. Well, that's what they're going to do with um. That's what they were planning to do. I think for Gordon Goes Foreign, weren't they? They're going to use Henry for the, the big seat. That well, the the Patriot. Yeah, yeah. There was going to be like a yeah. There was like a note for that there, and how they were going to might make the model. Right. Uh, next one is a complete model of Toby. Another one. Another one, yes. They're like rabbits, you know. I know. Just, just... I'm also kind of wondering as well, are these are these models like uh, limited editions? Because like everybody's buying them and they're making they're, they're all making them into Toby. <laughs> that would be a travesty <laughs> if it was. <clears throat> all of them as Toby. Yeah, this is the one that's got the um, the paint going around the side. I've not, not seen that one. Hmm. Uh, Apparently the Rapido are well, tradition, but they seem to be still making them, or at least have a big stock of them. Yeah. Uh, let me see. And this is uh, another one from the same person, I think. Ooh! A little engine What's called Perry. I think I've seen it before, actually. Is this, is this, hasn't it been on the, on the stream before? I think it might have appeared at one stage. I'm not sure. No, I like that because it doesn't have a face. Yeah. <laughs> you're on the wrong stream, Chris. Yeah, you're on the strong you're on the wrong stream, Chris. I don't hate Thomas, I just <laughs> mild like stain. <laughs> there we got uh, there's one of your kids, Gav. Oh yep, yep. I think it that uh oh. must make you feel happy, Gav, when you see, you know, people actually making things with your kids. Yeah, of course it does. It's, and I think it's, um I get a nice fuzzy feeling, obviously. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's nice. Actually, um, when you, because you've just released a new one, haven't you? The um, was it the Clarence? Yeah, Body shot the double combo, Clarence. Yeah, yeah. It's not um, something I would have done, but um, I might add, it's kind of not my vision, but everybody else seems to want it. So I was like, well, it won't take too long, so why not? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I might buy one here for just, just to have as a spare engine, I suppose. Maybe. I was thinking that you make a good like sort of station pilot, sort of. Yeah, I might I might buy one maybe and then do it up for our club layout, I suppose. <laughs> it could be Thomas for that. 
uh, I point out as well that the name is just based on uh, an artist, obviously, so you can see what it's roughly based on. All right. Nice one. Uh, and then we have some more 009 stuff. So we have, I think this is Stuart. Being me, because it turns to... Uh, that's nice. I quite like that actually. Well, the, yeah. It's nice to see that um, that also like the chorus, chorus number four actually painting a different colour for once because normally we see it, we see it quite you know red or cool. yeah quite a bit nowadays. Yeah, yeah, it's quite good that there. It really goes to the green green coat colours nowadays. Mm. Now, this is also I uh, quite like as well here. This uh, somebody's put in here, uh, which is some Lego modelling. This is actually really cool. Ooh. Look at wow. that! That's that's, that's 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 all made from Lego. That's that's, that's real. Lego? Yeah, it's Lego. Yeah. No. Yeah. I don't like Lego from here. Oh no! Cool. Wait, I can see the Lego. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's Lego. There's, there's, yeah, I see a Lego, Lego coupling on the front. Yeah. Now you can see. Can something you zoom that in a bit, Michael? Uh, I'm not a huge fan of American, of American engines, yeah. but I do like that. Yeah, that's, that's pretty good. cool. Yeah, it is actually really good there. Actually. Yeah. Hmm. I've seen, I've, seen, I've, seen, I've seen people do like you know they get like uh they download the um designer software for lego and then they build their stuff up and then they can actually send off the parts to make it up lego actually lego even i think i don't know if this is true guys uh correct me if i'm wrong in the chat here does does lego actually send out like like copies of the instructions as well as to how to put the thing together or does... i wouldn't i thought so i mean to a jay does it all the time he said he didn't get any no nah. Unless that was the earlier version, no, I don't know, but possibly I don't know. That would probably add more to cost, wouldn't it? Because like, and also think well, of it, you're, you're the one who built it. How could you forget how to? Yeah. <laughs> well, then again, there is actually a pen. There is actually a, a vote thing. I think that's going on right here for a Lego to do a traction engine. So hey, like, that's a bit like, like writing, a, writing a book and you just forgot. I mean, you forgot what you read. You can't <laughs> read your own work. Well, to be honest, I, you know, when I was doing my military railway stuff, there actually was some bits I actually did get about, like later on. I had to keep looking, going back to actually try and remind myself, like you know, for continuity's sake. Who, whoever built that, should be hired by Legoland. Yeah. Mm. Well, that's it. That is definitely good. really good. Right. Uh, what's this next one here? Oh, hey, up. Is it nice? I've got kind of a funny story about Lego Ooh. here later on. Okay. <laughs> A, sh a station for westerns. Yes. Are they kings, castles, or halls? Uh, well, the one, the one closest is probably a hall. Uh -huh. uh, but but none of them are kings or castles because the cylinders are too far forwards. Okay. Um, but they they could be halls. They could be manors. They could be anything. I, well, I think I think that one at the front is actually a manor. Could be. Hmm. Well, that's very nice. I love the I love the weathering on that. There, it's really good. That's the one thing I can appreciate engines from any region. Yeah. So I am an LMS man. Hmm. Finished. We hey, last an hour and twenty three <laughs> minutes to one poxy friggin' wagon with my. <laughs> uh, well, Gav, I, it's taken me over an hour to do uh, a frame, so don't feel so bad. Hmm. Oh, it's taking me this long. Yeah. It's, it's taking me this long to try and get uh, try and work out the parts now to actually make this thing. <laughs> I really like. I do love the weathering on those. On those. Yeah, it's definitely looks really good. Uh, let me see. Now we've got some Erdl modeling as well. So, ooh, a bit of a oh, Dublin yeah. thing here. Is it? Let so, me guess. Is it? It's an Erdl Scar Lowy. I was going to say, was is it the uh, lady on a chassis again? No. <gasps> Don't worry, the carpet gods didn't get that one. <laughs> not today. Say what, say what, not today, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> say what? It's very black. Well, it's considering it's meant to portray night. <laughs> I can see. And last one, last one uh, on the showcase thing here is uh, this it's one. Here. Here. Oh my goodness. goodness! We've got a load of streaks. That was beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, this was sent by Simon Martin. So, oh well, of course. Yeah, these were, <laughs> these it would be him, him, wouldn't it? Well, well, these are all the ones he made from last week, though. So, so we well, can see like a, 
No, well, it was he's been working on again doing all, doing the lining. Like you remember last week, he was he was stressing over the lining. Well, yeah, I mean, you couldn't could have done all, all five of those in one week, could he? Or... Well, I suppose he did, yeah. No, I don't know. I don't. I, don't, I, don't, I really know. I wonder if he's. I wonder if he's watching right now. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe not. That concludes our showcase now for now. But listen, guys, thanks so much here for um, some of your uh, model artworks here. We really did enjoy showcasing there. And um, we will bring the showcase back uh, another time, but um, we'll... We need we'll a rest. Need, yeah, we'll give it a rest for a bit there. And then, uh, I don't know, maybe make it a monthly thing, I suppose. So, well, keep it going. It's not really a rest, is it? No, it's not really a rest. Up into the camera, please. Hey, yeah, hold on a second. Hey, I got it. Camera's yeah. yours. I just want to show you basically what I've done now. All that faffing around, you didn't really see much. Um, so we have a dingo on. Go on, focus, you little shit. Yay. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> I've modeled all my dog. Because it's not really supposed to have these three links here, but I kind of bodge it. So when the magnet under here pulls them, it lifts it up. That's how it works. Yeah. Right? The other side, you have a little latch that sits yeah. on top. So I'll try and. Uh, I'll try and show you. If you can see that. When you go yeah. up, it, clink, and it goes in. So you pull it. And then when obviously that goes up, it goes on top of the latch. So you can still push the wagon where you want it and then pull away. Yeah. That's basically how it works. It's pretty cool, that. Huh? And push it, pull away. But obviously, it takes a long time to fit them. It doesn't take that long if you actually kit build your wagon yourself. But when you got ready to run, and they love absolutely love their NEM pockets, it makes this awkward. Yeah. Because they even have to put into the wagon weight. So it's a lot of fat around. Is it just me or, or is that anyone else not a fan of NEM? Well, <laughs> yeah, well, some there is actually yeah, somebody. Definitely. Some there was somebody on Shapeways. Somebody who's done the. He's done some like. Um, coupling system for that actually f connects with the NEM stuff but it actually looks like as if like it's a it's a, it's a free link or screw link coupling system i mean i i just never got the hype with NEM. no so like so sometimes like the uh the tension hook not that sometimes drop, they sometimes drop off i i actually find often it just falls out yeah that's what i mean yes But like, there are. And then some... there's such a devil to put back in. Yeah. Sorted. That's a second radius curve. I was tested on, so we're good. I want to go tighter though. Okay. Because these actually do use the buffers to push. So oh, you right. can't have too tight curves. They are a problem with coaches because they overhang. So I'm going to do something different for that. Okay. But um, yeah, move on to the next bike. <laughs> So right. what have you been what up to this week? Oh. Let, let everybody else choose. All right, I'm really bothered. Uh, I go no. for a bird to coppice. coppice. Okay, because these are these all places close to where I live. So okay, let's do this. Um, I used to work basic birch coppice. Oh. It's a UPS plant. Nice. Right, so what have you been up to, Michael? This oh. <laughs> um. No, not really. I've just been working on some stuff, really. Mm -hmm. Just been doing, just you know. Well, you see, with this lockdown, nothing much is happening. So, I suppose it was a stupid question. Yeah. Well, <laughs> everyone's been indoors. Well, except for me, and I, I don't know, well, except for me, I've been working. Yeah. Well, I've been working as well. I think so. Like writing stuff. Before anybody, before, anybody, uh, before anybody in the chat says uh, inquires or anything, no, it's nothing to do with Thomas. I, don't have, I, haven't, I haven't been called back yet. <laughs> I wonder why. No, I'm <laughs> <laughs> well done, Michael. I'm making a very successful Thomas episode here. And, I, and, and because we're there, we're giving you the sack, eh? <laughs> We've never heard from again. <laughs> Like that, nice. 
called her a no, but, person. Yeah, but the thing is, <laughs> I was going to say, I was going to say here, uh, we'll probably. We'll probably, uh, they'll, they'll probably say, like, you know, now we're going to put you into a special place where we keep all the people, all the things that people actually like in the show. I, I open the room and there's Boko. Hello. What? What are you doing here? They won't let, they, they put us in, the, in this room and they won't let us out. <laughs> <laughs> they won't let us leave. <laughs> they won't let us appear on the screen. So that's where people yeah. decide. Then, then, you know, I'll be in the cupboard where all the yeah, dudes but- are. But talking about the lockdown, just before the lockdown, I was to do my theory test for the lorries. Oh, so, yeah, you were doing that, weren't you? Yeah, and then the lockdown came along, so that, that, that's gone well. Uh, yeah, still, off Axel time. Well, you still, um, there's, funny enough, there's some people who actually, there's some driving schools that started doing it, so go back up again. Well, I think ours are meant to open again in June, so that's literally next week. Yeah. Yeah. Thank goodness for that. They wanted to go back to the gym. <laughs> Who needs a gym when you play with steam engines? Well, I was going there three, four times a week continuously for about a year, but then obviously lockdown. Yeah. Probably what, saved what, a lot of money to be game. <laughs> game? What the hell is a game? <laughs> a gymnasium. Okay, I've got a test for you. Oh god. Um, what does Y E S spell? Yes. yes. Okay. <laughs> so Y E S, yes, spells yes, yeah. Yeah. Oh, so there is that thought. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, oh, put, an e, now put an E at the front of it and spell that. Yes. Y E S. Yeah, now put an E at the front of um, of yes and spell yeah. that. Eyes. Oh, okay, fine. <laughs> <laughs> Michael's too people, smart. A lot of people. Yeah. Knife and before. You know, what's, you know what's funny? A lot of people who've who've, who've done that just going E yes. I heard of one guy actually. He did this. I heard one guy. He he tried to get. He tried to get. He, he was in a Chinese takeaway, and he tried to get this. Uh, he, he, he tried to get a duck ordered, and the guy says, "I'm oh, sorry, we don't have any duck." And he's like, "What?" He says, "I want a duck." And he says, "No, no, no, no. We don't. We don't. We don't. We don't have any duck." I says, "I says no. Look, he says, look, I'm not leaving the shop here until I get a duck." And the guy says, Wait. "Right." And the guy says, and the, and the, "The guy says, look, I'm going to give you a spelling test now here, just to prove that we don't have any duck." Okay. 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 Now. Take R out of rice. What do you get? Ice. Very good. Now take C out of chips. What do you get? Hips. Okay. Now take F out of duck. There's no F in duck. Yes, that's what I'm trying to say to you. There's no F in duck. (laughs) (laughs) There's no F in duck. That's brilliant. I love that. (laughs) Well, I'm talking about ducks. That just reminds me of a joke. Uh, Mm. It's an Irish joke, so it is. So was that. Everyone gets going funny, funny then. Yeah. Well, <laughs> well the, thing, the, the thing is that <laughs> there's a place in Northern Ireland called Ballymena. And that's where Liam Neeson came from. Okay. So the accent there is a bit between Irish and Scottish because of the Anglo Scots. And there's this joke about two ducks walking down the street and one goes quack quack and the other says, I can't go any quacker. You figure that one out. Yeah, you have to be, you have to be somebody from that side of the world to get that one. <laughs> <laughs> it's a regional thing. I know. Yes, exactly. Um, Two pack of, it's like it's like that it's like that old school one. It's like two pack of, two pack of crisps were walking down a road there, and one guy, uh, taxi pulls up and offers him a lift, and the other one says, "No thanks, we're walkers." <laughs> well, yeah, what was it? There, there was another joke about someone who walked into a pub. Um, Murphy was his name, and he was just walking along, and there was this dog mess on the floor, and he slipped on it, slammed into the wall, nearly broke his neck. Uh-huh. So he went. So he went up to the bar. And uh, and Riley came in, did exactly the same thing, uh, nearly broke his neck. Uh, then Murphy came over and said, 
See, I did that a minute ago, and Riley nearly killed him. <laughs> Think about that one a minute. Oh, uh, I, I got it already. So, see, one person gets it, but then he's Irish. So, well, <laughs> okay. Um, what did Cinderella say when she got to the ball? Oh God! What? Oh, hello. <laughs> What? No, she goes. Oh. <laughs> nice one. <laughs> I was expecting a big reaction for now. Okay. So someone right, wants then. to make a guest appearance. No, no, she's gone. Come back here, cat. <laughs> <laughs> what was it? Uh, well, I'll tell you this one here. This one. This now. This is. This is. This is not going towards anybody else here. But somebody said, like, you know. Um, some Irish, some Irish comedian fella actually said, like, you know, Ireland has the best as humor. I say it's half true, half not true, because sometimes we have different humors here and there. I, loads of people, everybody in the world has a good sense of humor. But there's. Um, Except for the, the Americans. Okay, okay. Well, there goes our, there goes our American view. <laughs> Thanks, Chris. <laughs> we had American viewers. Yes. We had, we had some good humor. <laughs> Oh my god! I'm so sorry. I had American on Modelers Corner. I don't think. Yeah, we had Stephen. Yeah. I'm sorry. I just couldn't resist that one. Oh, Stephen. Yeah. Oh, god, we have sex. Sorry. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Sorry. I'm so sorry, guys, about that. About that comment here. Chris will be dealt with. <laughs> severely. Severely after this. I thought you're gonna wax him. Oh. Oh, where's the cat? Hi, cat. Hello, Cappy. <laughs> <laughs> but um, was, was it Daryl Brian? I don't know. Don't know. But there was this one joke I heard somebody say um, about how how do people react to like um, a situation? And uh, one of them was like, uh, well, Max how, says, "Oi, I'm sorry, Max." <laughs> Max is in yeah. America. Well, well, I, I'm Northern Irish, but that's you're not the same thing as Irish. Right. Anyway, um, I'm going to try. I'm going to try. I'm going to try and get the stream back back on track at some point. I'm going. I'm Good going luck to, with that. Oh. Anyway, just just mute Chris for a minute. Yeah. Okay. Do you know? Do you know? That's not a bad idea. There you go. <laughs> so, quiet you. Quiet you. Okay. So uh, I was oh, saying yeah. this. <laughs> I, was, I was saying this one joke uh, about. I was Hello. saying this one joke about. Um, oh, fuck it. Hang on. <laughs> anyway. No, I'll uh, let you talk. Go on. Right. Yeah, it's like workstation one. Tipperary people are the funnest. Okay, good on you. It's a long way to Tipperary. Okay, Chris, seriously. <laughs> <laughs> go on. Just oh, ignore me. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, anyway, I was saying here. I'm with, saying, right now. I was saying this one thing you know, that uh, by how certain people react to certain situations. Now, just imagine. Now, don't say this is going to happen tomorrow or next week here, but just say World War Three is about to happen. It's been nice. How would you react to those certain things? So yeah. this guy, the one person, so this guy, so the guy who told me this story, like you know, he had his own different views. So I'm just quoting. I'm just quoting what he said. So. He says that if uh, a Frenchman heard this news, what would he do? Well, first of all, he would go home to his his girlfriend or wife, not there, spend as much time as he possibly could with her, like you know, just kiss, so forth, you know, whatever they do. Uh, and after he's done, goes out around right the back, lights a cigarette, smokes it to his heart content, and then he gets a pistol. Poof, that's him gone. That's how he deals with. Now again, this is I, I'm just I'm just quoting what a guy this guy said. Okay, I'm, this is not me talking. Uh, he says now, if the American heard this news, he would he would drive to the to the highest building he could find, park his car in the basement, go to the top floor, and then, well, he wouldn't he wouldn't have a cigarette for his health there, but you know he would jump off, and then that's him done. Again, this one might not be true, but this guy says he says now, if the Irishman heard this, he would go to Spain for three weeks, and hope and hope it'll be over by the time he gets back. <laughs> Hope the situation will blow over by the time he gets back. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, damn, sorry. Very sorry. Uh, I, I very recently saw the uh, Favre 
Ted thing uh, in the right. opticians. <laughs> and, they're, and they're just going like, well, I don't understand it, Father. Father Jack's eyesight is, is better than ever. He can read down to the bottom line, and even I can read that. And it just says, drink, drink, drink. Father Jack has a particular liking for that particular word. Oh, I see here. So he, <laughs> he tries a new eye chart there, and he just, he just says, like, this is from our It's, it's from Factors Industries. Yeah. Factors, Factors, Factors. That's be an medical matter. Yeah. <laughs> I will actually say this. Though. I actually still like wear myself laughing at the scene where the crow takes away his it takes away his glasses. <laughs> it's, it's just he, it's just a close up. You know, the camera goes with a close up there, and I would I, I would never keep a straight face if I was reading that scene. But then afterwards, like you know, when he comes out of the optician with his glasses, he gets attacked by the birds again. You see him lying on the ground. He's just like fucking birds again. <laughs> and then he accidentally goes into uh, alcohol's anonymous. Oh. Uh... The mood angel. And then later on, when he goes into the pub and the fella tries to stop him, no, Father Jack, don't, don't. I know it hurts, but trust me, you will find me. Dee -da, dee -da. And so he goes away in an ambulance. Cuts, cuts to an ambulance later. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear. I like the episode Think Fast, Father Ted. He gets a hammer and keeps dinking that car. <laughs> uh, I don't think you fixed the dent, Ted. No, here, Ted. Just the way the screen weird. fades black and it kind of fades back in nice and slowly. Is <laughs> yeah, it just shows Dougal and Dougal's like, I don't think you fixed that, Ted, and it just shows the car. Just this. Yeah, I think. I then, then he's in bed. Yeah, I don't think we can sell that as a prize or give it away, rather. <laughs> Well, think about it. Think about it. And he comes back, wakes up next morning. He just wakes up and he goes, red. Oh, God, we broke the car. We destroyed the car. <laughs> what are we going to do? Right, I don't think this pug will be a runner because I think I've got the motion all glued up, but never mind. Well, oh, considering you glued the axles to the bearings, I think there's an obvious, you know, reason it, why. It's also the crank pins I've done as well, but that doesn't matter. It's, ah. it's my first model. Well, yeah, I suppose. <laughs> I think my Are first apple. I think so my first apple. I think my first apple model was actually one of those uh, derelict box fans. Yeah. Nice Probably not right. best to be telling jokes. Uh, yeah, yes, sorry. Yeah, I, 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 yeah, I, I, I really <laughs> strongly apologise. Like you know, if I, if I, if I offended anybody, I'm really, really, yes, really sorry. But you know, like I said, I was quoting somebody. It was the only thing that came into my mind at times. The joke was so. It's probably also talking about me. Hmm. <clears throat> Being fair. Hmm. But then again, we went through worse jokes before in the past, right? The, so right? Who likes cheese? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I will not bring up the joke that Tom told last week. No. Yeah, I said worse since then. Yeah. Anyway, let's talk about something else here. Cheeseburgers. Cheeseburgers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not good for you. Yeah, yeah McDonald's is open again. I'm not really a McDonald's fan, really. Well, I'm more a Burger King fan, but they've not opened yet. I think you're the first person I've ever met who's not a McDonald's person. Well, it's just... I'll, I'll have it. It's just that I do prefer Burger mm. King. Isn't it more expensive, though? <clears throat> not really. I mean... I think Burger King burgers are a bit more meaty and like, you feel like you're actually eating something rather than just air. Well, yeah, yeah. I think... <laughs> Well, like, the, well, the first thing. Well, the thing is, though, you see, when I buy McDonald's, like, I, uh, the only the only burger I often get from McDonald's, the, the only burger I buy from McDonald's is, is a Big Mac. But like, you know, every time I take a bite of the burger, I thought that was a tugboat. Huh? Big Mac. <laughs> yeah. Very funny. Yeah, very funny, Chris. Uh... Anyway, um... Oh God. Yeah, but every but every, but every time I take a bite of a Big Mac, there, I just get a mouthful of sauce. Of like you know the Big Mac sauce that they they put on there or whatever it is they put on it, um, Jeez. and then the, but then the, but then like the whole burger just falls apart, like like literally within the first bite. I would like my burger to be intact whilst I'm eating it, not like suddenly become liquidized. <laughs> okay, so we got a fussy here. Hold on, wow. I'm starting to feel hungry now. 
Why not? <laughs> All right, this is going to be quite interesting. Has <laughs> anyone ever made, ever made a, um, a tanker kit before? Yeah, I, did, I made I made a dapple tanker kit though, but um, how did you do the um, like the the wire around the the, the tank? Oh, I did. It didn't come with that. Right. Okay. Apparently, AC prefers Burger King as well. Well, of course. Well, I don't can I, I borrow? Can I borrow the camera a minute? Okay, hold on. <laughs> Loads of enthusiasm there. <laughs> Do you want to see what we've got the bottom end more or less done on my poke? So you've got a crank pin. Yeah, he's got the crank pins on. I, I think I actually put one of the uh, put the crank pins on the cross head pins in the wrong way. But the thing is, it's not going to move anyway. So you you just doing it fixed then, just locking it solid. Yeah, well, I have no choice now. Okay. That that's, mm. that boat has sailed. Oh well. Uh. I have a lot of anxiety about that since World War Three became a potential threat. We well, did, you know, many times. Uh, it's happened eventually. So, that's right. You, you, you're the only one of us that has actually had army experience. I, I think it's. I think it's just best not to think about it. Uh. I think so. There's not much point, though, is there? Like, I don't think. No, you can't do anything about it if it's going to happen. Hmm. Uh, what was I going to say? Uh... Oh. Right, uh, it's kind of done. I might have to leave the roof until later. Let's just do a test for it to make sure it fits okay. Yeah, it should be okay to fit on. Hmm. Have you seen the Sonic film yet, Mike? Sorry? Have you seen the Sonic film yet? Yeah, I saw it last night. At last. At last. Now you can, you can now, talk about I, it now. now you can find it. All right, first of all, hang on, hang on a second here. Uh, anybody in the chat there, have any of you guys seen the Sonic film yet though? So that you know it's safe that we can talk about it and not give spoilers away. Of course I want to not say. I love the way you make them. I love the way you make them. Yeah, Jim Carrey's Jim Carrey's about the whole family. He was like, I I just smiled at every every single bit he's on screen. I'm like, oh he's he's loving every single bit of it. I had some flaws of it though, but apart from that, I still feel it was quite good. Yeah. I should have actually said I've never seen it, but that's okay because I didn't really want to anyway. That's good. Yeah, I'd probably impressive. see it if it was on the television sometime, but I don't go out to see movies now. Well, there are some films you often go to see. Only if there's a train in them or a traction engine. Well, well. Uh... There's not many of those. Nope. I think the only traction engine one there was was the Iron Maiden. I think the last time you went, I think the last time you went to actually see a film like with with a group of people was when we actually went to see the went to watch the General at the club. Oh yes, General. Oscar <laughs> Keaton at his best. Yep. Now, how the heck am I going to do this bit? I don't know how. What What is it you're trying to do? I'm trying to do the single gantry bit again. Well, I'm trying to work it out here. Does you, like, how am I going to... Basically, it's... Uh, you know, I'll get this shit, put this photo up again. Right, so basically, it's this bit here that I'm concerned on here. So you can see these angle bits here. Now, on my camera here, so these are the bits here that I think uh, 
were used, but they're slightly different in a way compared to the you know the model you see. So they're, they're actually a lot more thinner, or well, not? They're more like bigger and in, uh, in size compared to that one there. So, uh, I'm just trying to think, like you know, should, should I actually have? Should I modify these to try and incorporate these in, or just maybe buy a brand new bit of plastic or something that has that pattern on it? Lucy, I don't think you've missed very much, to be honest. No, I haven't missed much, mate. No, it's, it's mainly just us talking about rubbish and. Well, you. You've been mostly talking about rubbish, but... <laughs> this is true. Yes. What else uh, did you expect from me, to be honest? Well, hopefully a long time. Apart, apart from to behave. <laughs> and we all know how that went. Uh, hi, Patrick. Yeah, I think for that bit there, I might actually just uh, buy some, like a plastic card thing from Slater's, might do that. I'll have, a wee, I'll have a look later on here tonight and see what there is. But yeah, I think I think, I think the only best is to use from, from that gantry kit there is probably like, you know, these bits here, because that's what was used. Uh, it looks like Lou's had his own excitement. He's set the fire alarm off cooking steak. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I've had worse. I've had my, I've had my friend uh, set the fire off and had like the kitchen was burning on fire because he was cooking, cause he was cooking fish fingers. <laughs> you know, yeah. Hmm. I, I've known of someone who set uh, fire to a model at an exhibition once. Why? Because they did. Well, yeah, we I don't think they really meant to. Well, you set fire to my foot one time. <laughs> that was your own fault. You put your foot in the ash pit. Well, it was your fault for not looking to where you were throwing the ash. Your foot shouldn't have been in the ash pit. Well, you shouldn't have been aiming. You should have aimed off. Oh, bugger. You should have chose better where to aim your, where, where to aim your shovel. I've got to be honest. I think I'm with um, Case on this one. Why were you... You in the pit in the first place. Because I, because I was shoveling out the ash that he had dumped in there. You could have waited. <laughs> well, That's you were crazy. the one who told me to do it. Was I? Yeah. Oops. So. Still your fault. What? You listened to me. <laughs> you well, shouldn't yeah. have listened to me. Well, I do remember you saying afterwards, like, you know, why the hell were you listening to me then? I was like, well, I had no choice. <laughs> he never listens to you anyway. Yeah, that, that is true. <laughs> right. This, uh, is, this is the exciting bit, building the cab. <gasps> right. Well, it's more or less exciting when you actually finish the model. So... Uh, I think now, what else is the world? Um, oh, yeah, there's these bits. Get those put on. Uh, oh, that's interesting. Get two varieties of doors. Your spot for choice. I know. Which one's right. the right one? <laughs> <laughs> Let me see now. Right, I'm just looking at the picture again here. I might actually do away with the interior thing because I think from looking at the model here, it actually looks like the revenue is just just frost over the glass, so you don't really see what's going on in there. So I might as well do the yeah. same, I suppose. <clears throat> you can easily do that with um, super glue and things. Yeah, but and I don't think he was using super glue for that one. You might have done because that's how. Because um, I've used the, I was using that tape to make the windows for my for the coat for my coaches. And I used super glue to actually fix them on, and super, the um the acetate sorry sorry the super glue went all over the acetate, so it looks a bit like like you know like it's, yeah scratch a window surface that sort of thing. But it didn't mean super, it did. Yeah. 
Yeah, super glue will usually do that with uh, on plastics. It will cause frosting. Yeah. yeah. But there, there, there is a way to fix that, though, isn't there? Yeah, new ways. Paint them yeah. <laughs> it's happened to me a few times. I love how me and Kevin same answer. <laughs> 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 Happened, well, it looks good if you wanted it to look weathered. Yeah. So is everyone enjoying the stream? <laughs> God, you are. I'm not. <laughs> We're having a horrible time, aren't we? <laughs> Dreadful. I, mean, I thought it was quite good. Shut up! You don't. You're not. You're, you're not important. <laughs> No one cares, Star Scream. <laughs> oh, someone's having a good time. That's good. Oh, Yay. good. Hey, I'm glad somebody has. How many views we got, Mike? <laughs> Our stream has been validated. <laughs> <laughs> Mike. What? How many views we got? Uh, Thirteen. Okay. Wow. Oh, well, up a bit. Yeah. Well, uh, seven uh, earlier. Yeah. I think the, I think the bad jokes uh, must have killed them. Must have scared them off. Yes. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry again, guys. I'm really I'm sorry. Oh, come on, it, it's Chris's fault. We'll hit him later. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll email hit me with a bloody big hammer. I'll email Ryan later. Just ask him to have more of his beating stick. <laughs> You remember that, folks? In the olden days of SAF, there was rumoured that Ryan has a beaten stick. <laughs> I, thought was, I thought it was more or less confirmed. Mm. No, it's, right. it's hmm. no, it's a rumour, Chris. Ludicrous. It's ludicrous, Chris. <laughs> Not as ludicrous as me being old Clark. Oh. Okay. <sighs> right, where's that other picture again? Right, okay. Come on. So, goes so on. who was the other guest that you thought might come on? Uh, Max Davis or Terry 55 Stanley. Well, since it's nearly nine o'clock, I think it's safe to say he's not coming. Well, there's always next week. Next yeah, week? Think, to, to be fair, I think he had to move today, so... Yeah. Well, that's fine. That's fine. By the way, did you watch, the, did you watch his video yesterday? I did, yeah. It was really nice. Yeah, very, it was very well made, that. Oh, the um, soon for anniversary one. Yeah. Yeah. It's giving me some ideas to, to do something similar, but. Hmm. I think what was nice is where he had the uh, footage of him uh, when he was little. Yeah. Uh, at the day where Thomas went. Yeah, that was a nice touch. Yeah. But that made me think as well, like, you know, I've never been to a day with Thomas event before, and I'm just like, it just makes me just feel a wee bit... Well, I've not that either, to be fair. Well. Really, would like it. Well, I well, don't like You're not really missing that much, if I'm honest. It's just basically a whole... Just like a regular railway where they just put the faces on it. Well, to be honest, I would actually like to like for one for the the one what I would consider like a day with Thomas is actually going to the Neen Valley Railway when Thomas is actually running. That, 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 I, think, I think that's one place I would like to go to see. Like the quote unquote thinking, real Thomas. Of course he's of course it's the real Thomas. What do you mean he's not real? Shut up. <laughs> not my illusions. Quoting Sam from uh, the Train Our Star, and sure, Thomas, Thomas the Tank Engine is a real life place. Shine Time is a place full of giants. <laughs> Thomas the Thomas is in the real world. I know that because I saw him at the Mid Hats when I was two. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, he's Thomas really. Good. I could say some. I could say something really cruel here. 
You better watch your words now, Chris. Well, I was just going to say that the real Thomas is probably cut up like the rest of the toes. He said it. Oh. He said it. He said it, folks. <laughs> ruin all our childhoods while you're at it. <laughs> you bastard. I'm good. I'm Can I borrow three for a second, Mike? Oh, Where, where's the beat? Where's the beating stick? <laughs> it's worse when you realise that a crowbar. Of cow going to market doesn't mean what you might have thought it meant as a little kid. Mm. <laughs> but this could be a very sad story. <laughs> oh yeah, talking a sad story. Um, George Oakes is our sort of NWR Steam. His version of the the BBC's sad story, Henry. That was that was very good. Yes. Um. Like how how the how the brick walls appears. It's, it's just like loaded. It's just loaded on a little on a little stream. Like. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought it was very funny. What I don't get is what is his um. He managed to get Henry and James right, but he, what, but Thomas was just one of those like. And um, before I uh, e twos, Hornby. I'm actually thinking, <clears throat> why not just use the Batman Thomas or something? Uh, I don't know. I think he's trying. I think he was just trying to capture like what would they what what they would have used back then or something. I don't know. Well, I guess, but they got James and Henry like as he would have. They would have been in the books, or the TV series or whatever. But, and um, Thomas is like just this little. <clears throat> something else, you know. Yeah. Well, I don't know. That's probably something you would have to ask George. Okay. I mean, well, if he's on, if he's on next week's stream, we could ask him. I will. I'll definitely do that. <clears throat> do I have your word? What the hell are you doing with us? <laughs> it's like that episode. No, no, not episode. Um. You ever see, has anybody ever heard of a film called Rubber? It's like one of these weird black, uh, dark comedy films where. Um, I've seen Flubber. Uh, but it's, uh, it's like a, it's, uh, well, it's, it's basically just like a tire that just somehow comes to life and just goes around killing everybody. Oh, yes, I know the one you're talking about. Oh, yeah. yeah. I've, I've, not, uh, I've not seen it, but I've seen the poster. It's like, wow, they are scraping the bottom of the barrel for that one. <laughs> Yeah, but basically, like during the film, though, it actually says like you know actually, the audience is actually like in the film, like they're actually watching from a hillside, and so the direct, and the, and the plot of it there, the director actually you know feeds them, gets the nourishment out there, but they actually he, he puts poison in in their food so they don't have to watch the rest because <laughs> it's so bad. But then when he when he but when when they actually like you know say like you know right okay that's it we're finished night film's over this. Uh, this one guy, this one member of the audience who still survives, actually, he still he still survives. He refused to have any of the food. He just goes, he go, he just goes over to the director's uh, trailer or one of the main characters' trailer. And he just says, look, he just says to me, he says, "Look, I don't get what's going on in this story. It makes no sense whatsoever. What is happening here? I am not entertaining." Like, oh, he's not dead, right? Um, <laughs> uh, how do we continue on with this? And so. Even the tire got confused at one stage there, because they, they, there was even like one bit as well where like they showed the tire drinking from a puddle of water, and the, the guys, in, the audience characters, were literally just looking at it saying like, you know, what's it doing now? I think it's drinking. <laughs> right? Okay. I uh, drink. This will be interesting. <clears throat> yeah. Oh yeah, what was I was watching last night? There, after after I watched the uh, the Sonic movie, I actually finished off watching. I only I only saw like the first five minutes of it there, but I, I wanted to see the rest of it there. The um, the train. <laughs> oh yeah, I wanted to see the rest of that there. My God, is that is that a good film? Mm -hmm. I thought that was really good. Yeah, it's one I've seen. I see a lot. I'm really. Oh. It's just you just, making wise it's a masterpiece. You know, you can't do that anymore, I don't think, unless No. But like but you're not like the wreck real locomotives now. No. Yeah, but, but the fact that they actually had the scene where like the yard gets bombed in that there by the air raid strike, you know, they're like 
They actually did that. Yeah, they actually did it, and that was because the people were actually on the land um, couldn't afford, to, wanted to modernize the yard anyway. So it's like, well, they don't listen to what costs too much. Let's just bomb the place. <laughs> <laughs> blow it up. Yeah, let's hire Jerry Anderson. What should, what should we do? We're blow it up. Oh, here he comes. Boom. <laughs> here comes Derek Mennings with his with his jelly jelly night jelly. Right, okay. Derek, that was too much. <laughs> too much jelly. If funny enough, someone did ask me, um, because I've when I build my ten cents model, I would like to build a uh, fuel barge for it. Oh and right. um someone asked, Would you build the one for munitions and make it blow up? It's like, well, I could. I know how to do it, but I don't think the local wildlife would approve. Yeah. Because it is a public lake. Yeah, that's, a bit, that's asking a bit too much, I think. It's literally oh, a bit like, you know, um, it's, it's really people like who you suffer for their art. They just, you know, as soon as they've made it, they destroy it. Yeah. But then again, it's also like sort of like, um, like the Daleks as well, because I mean, they got blown up constantly, like. Yeah, but they're TV props, maybe. Uh, but but they were TV props as well. But I don't know. So I'm just just trying to just. Oh, so. right. <laughs> right, my my, uh, my cousin actually came up yesterday. He, he we hadn't seen each other for a good while, and he wanted to catch up on that there. And we were talking about Doctor Who for a bit there, and I was telling him about how David Graham, who voices Parker in Thunderbirds, was actually one of the one of the Dalek voices. <laughs> and, uh, he actually he voiced he voiced some of the, he voiced some of the dogs in the uh, the Peter Cushion films. Exterminate me, lady. <laughs> Exterminate Parker. Was it Rory <laughs> by any chance? Yeah. Yeah, he called up. Hey, what is, what is, yeah, I'm the only one out of all of us has met Rory. Well, yeah. Well, yeah. Well, Chris, they don't know who Rory is, so <laughs> we don't need to know every every asset of Michael's life. <laughs> yeah, yeah, come on, Chris, just get, come me some slack, like for heaven's sake. There's stuff, there's some stuff I don't want anybody to know. <laughs> and just to remind you, we are live. The whole world is watching us. <laughs> All fourteen. Oh, yeah, the whole world exists. Of <laughs> All fourteen people. members of the world are watching us. <laughs> Uh, yeah, because the world only exists of the 13 people. There's 14 people watching us. Oh, 14 now, is it? Yeah. <laughs> it's fine, I'd be a lot quieter if it was only 14 people. Mm. <laughs> As in Rory from Doctor Who? No, a different Rory. No, it's my, um, one of my cousins. Rory for racing car. That's it? <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah, one like one of my cousins. Is Max's model railway. You need to build Big Mickey. Is that aimed at me or? Well, yeah. Like, no. <laughs> who else is making things in in? in who else is making anything from tugs? <laughs> I've seen some people make like Big Mickey from tugs now. There for their model railways, and they're actually quite good, actually. All right, I think I might actually. I'll be honest in. Tug scale. I wouldn't mind making a little ditcher, but it's trying to work out the size of it. Well, you could probably maybe judge it by the size, compare it to the size of Sunshine. Yeah. A measure from there. Like, take a take a picture of uh, take a still grab of like maybe. Um, uh, I'll get some stills of it next to another another tug or something. Yeah, because I mean, the only characters I've seen who's interacted with uh, Little Ditcher is either Warrior, Tencent, or Sunshine. Well, that's what I'm doing with the fuel barge. I'm going to try and make the um, uh, the red and green one. Right. And uh, that's what I've done is I've used uh, stills and um, tried to work out the size that way. Okay. Right, do you know what? I'm actually. I'm thinking I might just. Start paint this actually because thinking about that stage now, right? I think I'm ready for that. All right, I'll just get put some primer on here and then I'll be back up in a minute. 
<laughs> he's gone. I think we can take over the stream now. <laughs> uh, he's got the controls, though, unfortunately. So. Drop. If it was done to me, I'll just put the camera on me and me alone. Because <laughs> no one needs to Curse see your work. is foiled again. <laughs> That's no it. Your work. You wouldn't want to see my work. It's shit anyway. I'm going to say that. Okay. <laughs> Are you doing, uh, Gav? You doing all right there? I'm struggling because I mean, one, it's fiddly, but secondly, I, I actually modify them, and it, this is even extra fiddly. Yeah, so I'm, I build them against instructions because I just prefer it. But yeah, it's a, it's an absolute faff. No, no word for it. We just said faff. Yeah, faff. <laughs> it's a faff. So there's Nothing no word wrong with faff. I thought you said there's no word for it. <laughs> <laughs> this yeah, is when we I'm find out that Tom is a smart ass. Oh, much like Thomas. Dumbo, the smart ass. The best smart ass. <laughs> Joseph oh, Midland for F Lemons. What are you on about, mate? Talking about using lemons in some way. I think he's talking about my pug. <laughs> I, th I think if he's mentioning lemons, uh, someone's also mentioned a comment someone made blue nose. I think he might mean. Um, Master of Lemons on Twitter. He made a blue nose model. Lucy, hey Tom, has um, Bluebell reclaimed her milk? Lucy asks, uh, hey, Tom, has Bluebell... Blue... <laughs> I don't know how to speak. <laughs> Bluebell reclaimed her milk. No, they shut her up. <laughs> Look, here we are. There she is. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, God. I'm going to get but anyway, she's in the cattle wagon. <laughs> Come on, get out now. <laughs> Get on tight. Yes, yes. Gorgeous. One thing, though, I'm going to have to, um, if I want to get some bands away, I'm going to have to get some of these uh, cows going white right metal. Well, you need you need more cows. Well, yeah, I need some white metal ones because basically what I normally do with a wagon is I make the underframes. I make my own underframes by uh, making a copy of the, of the piece. And then cast it in white metal. Yeah. But because I bought this second hand, most of it has already been done up. So I can change, I can do the other frames in, in, in white metal, give it a little bit of weight, but the cow, but, but um, not an awful lot. I'm going to do some uh, white metal cow instead. <sighs> Did I miss much? Yeah, you missed. Oh, Chris, so Chris caught fire. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> well, at least I didn't miss that bit. Um, I think the carpet gods have just up. claimed one of my buffers. Oh dear! Well, I'll straight back. <laughs> Give a Please, so can I have a back? You should have. You should have his boss. No. Can I have my buffer back, please? No. Oh, please. No. No. It's my buffer now. 
genuinely has to just the butler. It's my wife now. Oh, <laughs> Joseph the Midland 4F bust my dot 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 <laughs> round spherical metal thing. Round circular things. Uh, okay, how many are still watching us? Right, number 45 minutes left of the stream, so. Nope, it's gone forever. <laughs> What, the stream <laughs> at this rate, I'd say it would be. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll try and look for it later. Uh, right, let's see. Just, just comparing shades of green, actually, trying to see which is the best one to go for to paint the panel work. I think this one will do. Closer to that car, I suppose. Yeah, we'll do. Oh shoot! No. That didn't help. Oh yeah, there's something I found in a pound shop the other day. Um, I thought it'd be funny to tow behind the uh, the boat here. All right. Hey! Oh bloody hell! <laughs> it's the rubber duck. <laughs> it's Captain Star. <laughs> Tempor rubber duck. So Captain Star was a duck all the time. It's all right, you've got you've got your cows. I've got rubber ducks. Quack. Why did you say him on fire on the like the of the barge? Sorry. Why not say him on fire in instead of the barge? What the duck? Yeah. <laughs> That's a bit mean. I don't care. Poor duck. I don't want to duck my finger once, so you know. I'm just checking the emails here. I don't know, joke, yeah. Yeah, don't, yeah. Don't, don't, don't. People don't go setting rubber ducks on fire. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they don't, don't like. Really they don't like that sort of thing. No. No. You don't like it. No. Start Monday. Now, I forgot to put the regulator on when I put the cab on, so having to do it the hard way. <laughs> hmm. You have to make your life difficult for yourself. Well, oh, it's boring if you do it easy. Well, that's true. What, what you mean, yeah. the way the instructions tell you to do it? Exactly. <laughs> At least I found the instructions for this one. Remember last week with the Jag, I couldn't find the instructions. Yeah. Yeah, but the instructions are there for a reason. Yes, sir, for you not to follow. <laughs> what was that? Me. Yeah, yeah, but and now, what... now Tom's becoming a redneck. Oh, oh, I found my buffer. <laughs> hey, the copper gods have probably succumbed to their mistake. <laughs> I'm still I'm sorry. Oh, <laughs> well, there's, there's the stream's title. I found my buffer. Okay, there we go. We got we got our stream name for tonight, folks. I found my buffer. I I found my buffer. Gosh. <laughs> Good us all around. Peanuts! 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 Thank you, baby potato. Hey, can I borrow the camera a second? Do you have to? <laughs> well, I don't have to, but... You've already lost a buffer. You, you already lo lost a buffer once there, Chris. I don't want you to lose the camera. <laughs> oh, here you go. There's my wee pug. It's nearly finished. Cool. As I say, I've I've cocked up on the motion, so it's not going to be a working thing. But that doesn't matter. Well, it could just be a static display, really. 
Yeah. Could do it to look like a rusty old pug. Oh, you could maybe, like for your small chandelier, just have it in the siding there, and then just put a smoke jerry underneath it there, and it could just be simmering away. Yeah. So, so here's another question. Do I do it in London, uh, Lancashire and Yorkshire livery, LMS livery, or BR? Kind of green, like Percy. No. <laughs> Uh, well, it doesn't matter. That, that's <laughs> not the right answer. <laughs> it was not one of the above. <laughs> well, well, the thing is, it comes with the water slide transfers for the BR. Well, they might as well so. go for the BR one, so. I mean, it comes with the water At the end of the day, it is going to be painted black, so. Black says BR, Joseph says Lancashire and Yorkshire. Make up your minds. <laughs> Okay, is, two is, is, BR's winning. BR's winning. Well, either way, it's black, so, you know. Well, wow, this is true. Mm. They were never yeah, painted yeah. any other livery. Yeah, what do you got there, Ben? Be on one side and... Uh, 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 just say to uh, Chris, paint it in this colour. Jade <laughs> green. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to be a good guess, see. Well, well, the thing is, Thomas and Star Wars fan is it's not the same uh, class of pug as pug from the railway series. That was a different class of engine. Yeah, that that was a Kitson pug, I think. LMS red. Well, I could do, but that's not prototypical. They were never painted red. But then it is only a mod, so. Hmm. Don't know. I think LMS Red was reserved for passenger engines. No, what I was saying was, didn't they have like a red undercoat? Uh, they red, red oxide. Oh. Red oxide, yeah. Uh, well, possibly. Or I could just leave it grey and pretend it's in a works photo. I quite like those ones, actually, the, the works ones. So if you really can't decide, just go with like a bright luminous pink. <laughs> <laughs> or yellow. Very flashy. <laughs> Cut. Cut. You remember it's it's Chris, Chris's, Chris's Steam Locus on profile? Like. I was going to say Chris and Green's Steam Locus on profile when he did the black fire. It's like, you know, we're not playing any other color. Any other color <laughs> besides black cuts to like Dang. a pink, pink version. He's like, okay, maybe I was real too. Maybe we went a bit overboard with that one. <laughs> How about Phoenix Grey? Well, it's already grey. Well, there you go. Spares you the job. job. Exactly. Don't go paint it. Yeah, spares you the time. But it has to be painted. No, it does oh. not! <laughs> but, it to, but it has to be painted, otherwise it won't be happy. It won't be really useful. Or get a artist... Or Get artistic and paint it like a pug dog. Okay, that's just weird. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. I, I think I think the uh, BR liveries won, and besides, I've got the water slides for it, so. Yeah, come on, everyone so, every, every in the chat convince Chris to paint it like an actual, like, pug dog. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Go on, folks, you know you want to. <laughs> <laughs> Make it happen, guys. With bulging eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I will not put a face on it. You could pay me a million pounds and I wouldn't do it. Well, we would have to think. We are, we would have to think very carefully if we were going to give you a million pounds. Well, what, this what is about true. Million, what about a million and one? Still not tempted. Right. Okay. So. Thanks, man. I don't think people want me to paint it like a dog by the looks of it. Oh. Just say no. <laughs> no. Nope. Nope. 
Well, Max's model railway says uh, paint it pink just for a laugh. <laughs> <coughs> I'm I'm am surprised that Tom hasn't tried to play your intro music yet. Don't tempt him. <laughs> we've only got this. Now. We've only got we've only got it to this stage, like where he wouldn't do it. And now he's probably going to do it now. Of course I'm not. We'll put your phone down. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tempt fate. What about last week when you went to go and get me and he just put on all by myself? <laughs> what, did you actually do that? That's supposed to be kept a secret. <laughs> did you actually play that tune whilst I was away? <laughs> it was only two did seconds you, or something. So, um, you know, that like you moved into the into the, um, the workstation. <laughs> Thank you, know, you, Chris. Yeah, thanks, you Chris. Find May. <laughs> you could find May. You could yeah. She was all by herself, though. Yeah, but, oh, okay. Can't keep a secret, can you? <laughs> no, he, no he, 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 he can't. He's like... Even if uh, he's literally gagged. Well, well, the thing is, you didn't tell me it was a secret. Last and Journey year, Michael would have heard it anyway um, when he played back the thing. Last year we had Tom Foster on the stream. I played um when he and he went away for a second. I played um Doctor Foster went to Gloucester, <laughs> <laughs> oh, <God>. and, <laughs> and someone apparently told him. So, <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Actually, talking to, talking to, talking to Tom here. I, um, did anybody watch his Audrey Corner yesterday with Luke? I didn't. I I, 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 I watched it there. It was really good. I was going to, but I ended up having a bigger um, conversation on, on Skype, so I can tune in, unfortunately. Oh, okay, no worries. But I do, I do really enjoy watching the stream. Like, I mean, it just let's start again. Queen so, song, which one? Oh, the Miracle Express. Uh, oh, oh, breakthrough, breakthrough. That was. Breakthrough? Are you sure you don't mean break free? No, it was breakthrough. Oh. Look it up if you don't believe me. All right, Chris. All right, yeah, um, <laughs> all right watching, Chris, I really calm down. Watching, I really enjoy watching um, Audrey's Corner because it's very structured, very, you know, there's no, um, conversation, you can see this conversation's built on for hours, you know. Yeah. Mm. Whereas in our, our case, it's more or less like, you know, I contacted you guys at the last minute saying, are you free? And like, yeah, okay, we're free. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> we're coming. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, with, the, with our streams, it's just, you know, let it run and hope for the best. That's kind of actually like how we have this go right now. We just pray it and help well, it go, go as well. Well, the thing is, if you invite me, you have to work like that. I, I can't be bothered to do a third wagon. <laughs> <Being honest. laughs> yeah, I mean, it takes well, a lot yeah, of I, I, I actually forgot. I actually forgot you were on. You were up for a second, Gavin, because you were so <laughs> quiet. <laughs> I was doing testing then, you know. But uh, sorry, yeah, we got two. Okay, we got two. I think, I, but I think everything else I have to do now is to do with coupling systems, and I'm not going to bother with that. So I'm pretty much done. Well, yeah. Well, it's well, well, more weight. I could, yeah, yeah that, that, I, that's a puddle, right? Yep. <laughs> and here's a jag. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> it's not the train. Take it away. <laughs> Take it away. <laughs> Be gone, oh jagmeister. I don't know. I'm just trying to think of something funny <laughs> to say. Throwing out words. I know. I don't know. I'm just reading what it says on the cue card. <laughs> I'm just doing as you're told. <laughs> just do what you're told. And sometimes that gets you into trouble. 
I've known I've known of instances where people have just read what's on the cue card, but they do it literally so they even read the bits that they're not supposed to read. <laughs> yep. Pet hand up. Well, have you seen the um, the last episode of um, Red Dwarf in series six? That was actually what they were doing. The whole episode was filmed on cue card. Yeah. Apparently, uh, apparently uh, John Le Maggiore had to uh, be shown his lines all the time because he couldn't remember them mm. when he was doing Dad's Army. Oh, no, no, that's not going well. No, that has to be that's unfortunate when it comes to because, you know, you, you kind of go expecting it for, you know, for the experience, but then it's like, if you do it by cue card, it's kind of like... Anything. Really? It's like it's like mm. I feel like, you, I feel like you're um most actors will feel a bit like they were uh I'm sorry, what, what it might like. depend on their filming schedule. Like if they just don't have the time to learn the lines then they need the cue cards. Yeah. Apparently Dermot Morgan who played Father Ted had a hard time uh learning lines as well. Just play the note, just play the okay. note. Um, and part of the reason was for that was because he was more stand-up than an actor, so yeah. he, he wouldn't have been used to scripts. Me. <laughs> All right, see you later, Gav. Two minutes. <laughs> <sighs> well, you can't take him out anywhere, can you? Well, we took him out to the Iron Man. <laughs> and he actually behaved? Yes. Well, to be fair, he probably <laughs> behaves more than I do, so... Trust me, Chris. He will behave a lot more better than you do. <laughs> He's a saint in comparison. Exactly. <laughs> Even I admit it. I can't really not admit it. But the, uh, Michael, the Isle of Wight is that when um, that video of uh, you and Gav where he's trying to convince you to bring back Boko or was Isle that somewhere else no it was the Isle of Man yeah, yeah it was the Isle of Man we weren't on the Isle mate sorry uh, Isle of Man sorry yeah that was That's... the one yeah that was the one and then I I pretended to punch him yeah. then, <laughs> right here then Ryan, then Ryan says on the other end of the camera can you bring back Caroline I just like Oh, F yeah. off. Bugger <laughs> off. <laughs> right, here, here's a question. Uh, has anyone been to the museum at Bressingham? Oh, the Dad's Army one? Mm, nope. Though I have. Mm. I, I've this seen mate, photos one... of it, but I've never been to it. Well, I might actually, I'm going to give you guys a wee bit of a spoiler from our engines. The, that, that museum has, it, I've actually made, been in contact with them, and they've actually helped me out with something for Brass Engines. So. That museum has contributed a little something that you have to you have to listen out for in the um, in the in the branch engines film. Now I never thought I would get this. I literally didn't think I was going to do, get this here, but they were very happy to oblige in, on doing this for me, and I'm really grateful they they did do this, even though they found the request a wee bit strange. <laughs> <laughs> what they're letting you borrow their borrow steamroller? I'm not going to say, Chris. So don't. <laughs> Give it away. <laughs> and try, uh, annoying, and, 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 and yeah, and, and knowing Chris, he's bound to give it away, even though he's not part of the production team. <laughs> I don't want to be, so I'm all right. All right, fine. <laughs> I've got other stuff going on in my life. Well, not at the moment because, you know. Yeah, your time is filming. Thomas stuff is over. Though that didn't that you didn't hesitate. You didn't hesitate at the time when when I asked you to throw biscuits at me because that was to do with throwing things at you. Who does not want to do that? Yeah, you nearly broke my nose. But I got the best and reaction out of you. Yeah. Ooh. What the heck are those? Hostages. Oh, the bread things. Okay. Oh, right. <laughs> so, I, thought, I thought they were wooden dolls. I was like, what are those? <laughs> <laughs> I think your load's a wee bit over scale. 
<laughs> hey, it's a rocky road. That, that load is Hope far too big. You would never have seen such a thing in real life. Actually, but let me just count the rivets on my pug. Oh, God. Is he, he, really, is he, is he, is he really doing this? I got to five and I couldn't be bothered any further. <laughs> Why do people bother to count rivets? I don't get it. Because they've got nothing else to do. Yeah. <clears throat> the thing is, do any of these people actually make models themselves or do they just like to criticise? Well, Chris, there is actually one river counter in here, so just be just be careful again. What I'm just saying, just be careful what you're saying. Is it you by any chance? No. Well, you know what's funny? Um, my my um, I might as well get that my uh, my train club. Yeah. My, oh, the tanker wagon. Gav. Hey, yeah. nice one. Ship. I'm, I'm going to put three links on this one. Yeah. Because there's no point to having dingams on this because you're not really going to need to automatically shunt it. It'll just be fixed most of the time. So I can have three links. Well, what I was going to say was um, we had this visitor who came to our um, park track and one of the things they wanted to do with their engine was to travel on every single bit of seven and a quarter track in the country. Oh yes, we've had people like that over at ours as well. So what they did with us was um, <clears throat> when it came to the carriage shed, they've asked yeah. us if we could empty out all the carriages just so they could go on inside the engine shed just on that, onto that stretch of track. And I'll like, tell you one, because we had those sort of people with us as well, and round our turntable is a load of off tracks, and they even want on those bits. It could be the same guy, then. Yeah, I'd say it, it, sounds, like, it sounds like it could I, be. I, I personally think that's just going overboard, but that, that's just me. I guess it's kind of like you know, a bucket list of what think of something in terms of railways no one's ever done before. Oh, yeah, let's go, let's go through the quarter and go every track in the country. I, I, I can on, sort of single. see why they want to do it, but at the same time, it's, it's just a bit of a faff. Yeah. It's like, I mean, you could make a good donation from doing them. Um, I don't know. I think it's a bit sad, really. Like, <laughs> One thing I want to do on my bucket list is to go to Pico Ramble with them, McCall. That's what? Uh, there's, like an, there's an engine at uh, the Beers Highlight Railway called Finn McCall. It lives over here. Yeah, but it goes over there sometimes. Okay. But this is actually the first summer in 25 years that it's not gone to Pico because of the <clears throat> situation in the world at the moment. Mm. So is there a lot longer? Yeah. I think it's safe to say that this thing that is going on has really screwed up a lot of things. Yeah. Get on with it, painting. I do not have the paint that, that that's Yeah. <laughs> it's I'm a not... bit hard to paint when you don't have the paints. I actually would recommend actually, Chris, just get a black primer and just spray it. That way you get the whole coat painted all in one go and then just weather oh. it with chalks. Well, to to be fair, as I say, probably do it with the airbrush I've got. So technically I do have the paints, but I'm not gonna fire it up right now. Yeah, you haven't got the to... It's too late for that. Well, you've still got another 20 minutes. I'm not that fast, Michael. I, I'm, I'm not Mr. Speedy or whatever he's called. Mr. Quick or... I don't, I don't know what you're on about. Mr. Man. He's saying he's slow. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I honestly didn't think I was going to get this far tonight, but hey. Hey, ho. We... If you've got any tar paints, go for it. Uh, I don't really have any suitable paints at the moment. Yeah. I'll leave that for next week, sure. And then you and then you can get to watch paint drying. How exciting! <clears throat> Thank you. 
The other thing I need to do is learn how to use water slide transfers. Well, to be honest, that's something it, you, you, you can easily learn. I, I'm assuming you just dab some water on and then just slide the yeah. things off. Yeah. The, the problem, hence the name water slide. They can use these for, yeah. better, for better result. Yeah. The only problem is I could just get very anal about it and be very, you know, like wanting to get it in exactly the right place. Well, at least it'll give you time, like, now before you put the varnish on it. The modeler showcase uh, already been done and gone. Yep, it has. Yeah, you'll have to... I'm sorry, Lou. Yeah, you'll have to wait, you'll have to wait until uh, later on there, but I think your model will feature in it, though. So you'll have to watch back and look out for it. Here's a question I meant to ask you. Is, uh, what are your favourite types of engines, just out of interest? I know Michael, so... What are the big boilers? <laughs> big boilers. So at the moment... To be, to be it far, far easier to steam. Oh, definitely, yeah. Well, some are. I like the big engines. I'm a bit of a Black Five man myself. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Mm. You still like, but you still like narrow gauge stuff, though. Oh yes, I like narrow gauge. I, I like most things. Yeah, I mean, every time you drive your engines there, you always sound the whistles as if you're you're driving an, a, an engine from the Welsh Highland Railway. I'm not a massive fan of gauge. I, I love it. Don't get me wrong, but it's not not enough to actually like make models of it. Mm. I'm fan of gauge. I'd quite like to build a model of the Bornemona Andrew Barclays just because they're cool. Hmm. Um. I love the castle clock as well. And the, no, 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 sorry, the king. Great Western kings. That's, my, that's one of my favourites. I'm more a castle man than the kings. Okay. I just think that the kings had better power for their size but of course it's tomato tomato sort of thing mm. yeah. everyone has their opinions <laughs> well the kings are technically like a bigger boiler version of the castle so it's yeah but, but apparently according to some crews the castles be pulled better for their size Oh, Lucas, I like what you're saying. St. Class. Okay. No, the Saints are quite cool. <laughs> I can hardly tell them apart myself. Yeah. I think that's the biggest problem with Western engines. They all look the same. Because mm. okay. the, also... the Grange is just a small wheel version of the halls and the Manners are just smaller versions of the Grangers. They're all the same thing. They're also noisier, I've, I've noticed. <laughs> yeah, well, you'd, ha hard. you'd hardly hear Clan Line make any noise. Well, no, the point is, it's, it's kind of well known. Great Russian locos are actually known for making a lot more noise than any other engine. Uh, LMS engines make quite a bark as well. But then that's because uh, Stanier was a Western man. Yeah. Originally. Sorry, Stan. Just. So I keep, keep going in and out of the conversations. I keep trying to. So one thing I put, Gav, I put, I put some of that solder on my wagon, and it's it's really hard to kind of like just smooth out a little Ooh. bit. Show us that again, Gavin. Oh, oh, I don't want to do wrong. I'm using the wrong fucking solder, aren't I? I mean, I mean, flux. <laughs> it's a little coupling. It's the wrong fucking it's flux. It's so cute. I've been playing up all night. I don't know why. Freaking out. Going to go there. It's the wrong one. Gavin. I've been tanker wagons. Eh? I said we're both doing tanker wagons. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
Two lads getting tanked up. What do you need? <laughs> Take me up. I was talking about like Great Western engines. I'm just sat here thinking, nah, nah, Southerns. <laughs> I'm not a big Southern man, to be honest. Um, Dicker. Um, They're all right, but I'm not. I wouldn't profess to be a Southern man. When I was um, when I was wondering, Dicker, the T9 was it was there. Yeah. Oh, the T9, I like that. Yeah. Oh, well, uh, concerning someone who doesn't like the Southern, you seem to like the T Nines, all right. <laughs> well, technically, about London and Southwestern, they they weren't really Southern. Oh, oh okay, okay. They were pre-Southern, mm -hmm. and they were built by a Scotsman. Yeah, Dougal Drummond. Dougal, Dougal Drummond. Whatever. Yeah. He also did the uh, Cal the uh, was the Caledonian uh, one single Caledonian single, yeah, yeah, and, and the, the Caledonian uh, Pugs, yeah, yeah, which you've come to an agreement that you accept that they exist. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not get back into this again. Oh, we'll get back into it at some stage. We will do it now. We we got, got like ten minutes left. <laughs> Uh, another time. <laughs> fight! 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 <laughs> who, but but who will win? There's only one way to find out. Fight! Well, my my oh. money's on Michael. Right, gents, I want a nice clean fight here. Now remember, Wikipedia is banned. <laughs> <laughs> well, be fair, your 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 screens are next to each other, so you could uh, duke it out. Hang on! Hang on! <laughs> yeah, oh, sorry, oh, <laughs> your head went the wrong way. Somehow, somehow hit me on the wrong side there. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> what was it? What magic? What uh, wizardry misses this little bite? Look at me, I'm punching Chris. 20 pounds on Michael, someone's optimistic. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll take that bet. Look at me, I'm <laughs> look at me, I'm tickling Ben. <laughs> it looks more like you're tickling the Transformers figure's foot. <laughs> Wait, te technically, Tom, I that's Tom. not his foot. <laughs> <laughs> well, if it's not his foot, what is it? What am I tickling then? <laughs> <laughs> Don't no know. one pulling Mike Tyson. Yeah, we want a clean fight. You yeah, put him up, put him up. Put him up, put him up. I can fight you all the way with one arm, hammer, hammer back. <laughs> That's because you only got one arm. You've got ah. the advantage. I haven't got any arms, you twit. Right. Right. Uh, you can use any moves in this uh, fight. No holds barred. Okay. I, um, my weapon is a pen. <laughs> <laughs> I think mine will do more damage somehow. Can I pinch the uh, camera a second again? Yeah, hang on a second. Well, hang on a second. <laughs> well do you know what? I think I, I could do a lot more. I, I, I think I could do a lot more. I, I think I know how to win this fight. I think we shouldn't go there. Well, it's a lot. all I have to do is do this. <laughs> <laughs> Pen is mightier than sword. Yes. That's it. That's it. That's what I was saying. They even showed. They even proved that in the James Bond film. What? Well, what were you expecting? And an, an exploding pen? Well, we don't well, really go in for those things anymore. Domestic violence in Mother's Corner. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, this is my weapon of choice. Finish him! <laughs> oh, God, no. <laughs> but the mighty rubber duck. <laughs> the pirate duck. Hmm. Careful, he's got a patch. <laughs> <laughs> Watch out, you got feathers. Careful, they're ruffled. <laughs> feathers have officially been ruffled. Optimus Goose. 
Honk. <laughs> That's the most like most most so less enthusiastic honk I've ever heard. <laughs> <laughs> Optimus, Optimus Goose. Honk. <laughs> honk. 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 Trans honk and a honk cow. <laughs> Autobots, honk cows. Yeah. Oh my. <laughs> Damn it, Josh K. But I have one last trick up my sleeve, Sonic. <laughs> Original the character, do not steal. <laughs> <laughs> Son, you read my thoughts. You've got the shining. You mean shining? Shh. You want to get sued? Hey, <laughs> you want to get sued? Be quiet, boy. You want to get sued? No. <laughs> Right, I think that's kind of me now done for the, for the moment here. I, I've, I need to get uh, the, the green paint I actually used there. It's not the right sort there. It's actually an acrylic paint. I need actually enamel. Um, I need to try and fish out my other paints there in uh, the boxes somewhere. I don't know where they are, but they're probably somewhere. But, but yeah, I can get the rest of all that done. This might be the paneling work might be a bit more yellowed, but uh, I can sort that out uh, maybe during the week or so. Uh, so hopefully next week in Model's Corner I might do a uh, do that Stevens rocket kit. Yeah, that's all right. But yeah, I've got the. Oh, we got so far, so yeah, it's getting there. Slowly but surely. The pinch camera. Right, I'm just going to leave these here with the pug now. Okay. <laughs> right, just briefly then. I've not done this one yet. Oh, there we go. But this one I've done. The three links. And I've bent nice. the hook down a teeny bit and followed the top of it because when you have bingo, yeah. there's still a certain amount of... Uh, oh, it doesn't look well. I've got a That one's been open. You can still sort of make it work. Yeah. To a certain degree. Yeah. Takes a bit of fiddling, but once you've got the setup, it allows you to do both. Yeah. Right. So if you're using the dingams, you can shunt like you would keep changing the order. But when you've got stuff that's going to be in fixed rates most of the time, I was a put feelings on. Hmm. Works for me. I think it. Are you enjoying moving your camera, Chris? <laughs> I'm going to snap okay. that. Yeah. I don't think I've appeared on yet. <laughs> you don't want to see that. No, it's no. hideous. Take it away. Take it away. <laughs> oh, God. It's like, it's, like a, it's, like an, it's like an episode of Attack on Titan. <laughs> My Attack God, one of the Titans have beards. <laughs> <laughs> and he's a well, skinhead. Well, boy. Are you all right? Finally lost it. He's talking to his model. Yeah, I think uh, I think we've lost it. I think he's lost it now. As if he, wasn't, as if he hadn't been lost. The screw's officially enough. loose. No, they've been they've been loose. They've been loose. Since Demonetized or demonized. 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 <laughs> yeah. Yes. That's, One a, of those. that's a brilliant way to describe me. <laughs> yep. Someone please put him out of all our misery. <laughs> I can't. The button's oh, stuck. Okay. <laughs> he doesn't want to get rid of me. He likes me too much. <laughs> Face says it all. <laughs> and that's debatable. Hmm. I was one of a few railway friends he had for a long time. You were the only railway friend I had. <laughs> I think I think we should point out is he did have other friends as well, just not yeah. railway friends. Yeah, you were the only. You were the only. You, you were the only <laughs> one at school who really, would actually would talk to me about trains. A pug that acts like a pug. Ruff, ruff. Yeah. How is he feeling? Rough. <laughs> 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 Uh, 
Well, or I think we might. Yourselves. Yeah. Well, we've seen. Well, obviously, we've seen. You know, Chris is over Pogba. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Sorry. <laughs> 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 So I was watching a video. You're back, Thomas, and Star Wars fan. Well, I'm afraid we're nearly over. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> and on that, on, and on that note, <laughs> we now come to the end of Modeler's Corner. But now for this week, um, obviously, like I said, we've seen Chris's the pug so far. You've seen what I've done so far with the single box kit but uh, yeah also at the same time like you know i managed to get the roof painted on my firecore mark ii station house building there so i just need to get the chimney pots painted up and then that's pretty much it really really all finished so it's pretty nice (laughs) (laughs) i'm gonna get through the stream with the same conscience. <laughs> I'm going to get through this. Please, Lord of God, please, if there's one up there, please. <laughs> God, make them to be fair, up. that was Tom's fault, not mine. Yeah. Not mine. Right. Anyway. Um... <laughs> <laughs> now, wait a minute. That was a phone call. That was, that was for Ben. That was not me. <laughs> <laughs> I will not be blamed for this nonsense. <laughs> 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 yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> anyway, uh, I forgot what I was going to say now. Thanks very much, guys. Uh, I've just got one left. Uh, this, is, this is directed at Tom. <laughs> yes. Right, Thank right. you. Thank you. Thank you, man. Well, Knuckles, are you having fun with your penguin? Yep. He just gave me a nice little shit to eat. <laughs> well, we're past the watermark, so you know, might as well go here. Oh, there's there's one another one. <laughs> <laughs> knock, knock. No, no. <laughs> I'm just going to accept that this is happening. <laughs> one. Hey. Do, I think you're just going to have to ignore the surroundings. <laughs> <laughs> you're right, then, Michael. <laughs> I don't think he's best impressed. <laughs> Oh dear. <laughs> the penguin has run out of bottle. <laughs> if I have a, if, 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 any, if I or anybody else like you know who actually wants to make a compilation of mo- of the funny moments of Mother's Corner, I think this is gonna be one of the highlights. <laughs> Mike, just, has, just, just under the just under the caption, Michael loses it. But stay but tries to stay calm. Pengy's corner now. Try to stay calm. Try to stay calm. Three percent battery, so it might conk out. Not that anybody cares. Well it might be, so I'm just letting you know. Okay. Just well, well, well just before you do conk out here, might as well just like you know show your model. Quickly show just quickly show your progress. What you've done this for this end. Oh, I've been showing you it. So okay. well, yeah, okay. Well, uh what well, well, the penguin was what you were doing. Well, Pingu's corner. But yeah. <laughs> it looks more realistic, doesn't it? Yeah, it does actually, yeah. Mm. yeah. When it focuses. I hate, yeah, I hate well, these. I hate, there we go. That should be down, but me yeah, like that. Yeah, that's pretty good. So I mean this is this is why I bodge this this side. You should you should just have a bit of iron wire. I bodge it in court. Um I'll show you actually this one here. If you look at that one, it's just a bit of Oh, this is crap. There's a bit of iron wire, sod it. Right, so, but it doesn't look as good. So I put some three links there that are also made of iron or steel. Mm. And, uh, it still works. You know, This is about the best I think I can come up with. Three links plus dingams. Cool. It's good. Nice. Just fiddly as anything to set up. Okay, Tom, let's see your progress from tonight. All right, well, um, 
Not an awful lot. Just basically just finishing off the, main, the, the minor details on this this model. Okay. I was trying to put some put the um the, the wire around like the you know wrap it, wrap it around around the top mm. and yeah. Uh, Kind of like, kind of like, like on this one here. But unfortunately, I've got a lot of um, planning to do to make sure it's accurate. Because I can't, I keep getting the wires wrong on each side. If that makes sense. So right. it's uneven. So I'm trying to make sure it's dead straight. If that makes sense. Okay. All right, uh, Ben. Uh, How's yeah, your scrap? Uh, uh, sorry, uh, I'm just... finishing my uh, pile of scrap. Looks, pretty good, uh, though. looks uh, sufficiently uh, dirty and uh, grotty. Very good. Oh, it's more colour since, since the first time. Since the start. Yeah, yeah. It's Does got the a duck approve? Red. Sorry? Does the duck approve? Well, I hope so. He's going to be travelling behind us. <laughs> oh, do you approve? <laughs> oh, that's that, then. The duck disproves. Oh, there's <laughs> another one. Blimey. Hey, I'm gonna I'm gonna show you my opening my oh, oh, oh. oh of course it's us. That was his face. <laughs> <laughs> right guys, on that note here we'll have to end Model's Corner for this week here. Thanks so much for tuning in. Uh and thank you for surviving. Give yourselves <laughs> a medal. For surviving this week, I didn't think it was going to be this way this haywire, but <laughs> especially well, it wasn't early or on, so yeah. But anyway, uh, but yeah, we'll uh, see you again, next, guys, next week. I don't know whether next week's model's corner is going to be on Friday night or Saturday night, but I'll let you guys know on Twitter or if you're online. So you know, just keep an eye out, and I'll give you guys updates. I just I guess... know just how tiny the pug is. Yeah, well, it's double O scale, so yeah. <laughs> Okay, guys. Take care, guys. See you soon. See you next week. Right, Stay guys, safe. Bye. Bye. Stay safe and so forth. Bye. Bye. Be good. He's good, isn't he? Yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs>